Prepare for a thousand pings. I guess I need to mark this one as a 18 plus because I I've already dropped the f-bomb in the first like minute and a half of this thankfully I was muted but I had a tarantula just run across my lap that was not one of my pets I don't own a pet tarantula <laughs> Also reminds me that I should probably roll a thing. La, la, la. La, 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 la. John Madden. If you don't hide, hide like Wait, are we gonna have both stars coughing on the mic tonight? <laughs> what? No, I took edibles. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we're vibing. We're vibing. Gary, I'm sorry I neglected you. Oh, I never expected you. What is that? Gary, come home. Gary, come home. Oh, I've never heard the original, and I don't know the lyrics to the, the robot version. <laughs> Like, I only just found that. Like, I'd never heard that song until that exact video. Why do I keep halfway finishing these joints and then putting them out and forgetting about them? I just. I'm like, I should roll a thing. And I look over, there's two different half joints. I guess I don't need to roll a thing. That seems like a song that Steam Powered Giraffe would have done, and I don't think it's them. I don't think it is. It could be. Allow me to show you the meaning of brass goggles. <laughs> uh, trans trans representation is important. Very, very, very important. And early on in my transition, I did not have role models. I didn't have any representation whatsoever. I had no idea how a person would express themselves in a normal and, like, in an acceptable manner to themselves that wasn't going to burn them out. Everything else before then, and many after, were just caricatures. Steam Power Giraffe being a caricature uh, still also is representation and meant for an audience much younger than I can cater to. And that's good. The world needs more of it. Acceptance taught early. Don't mind me as I'm being a gay little nerd over here. <clears throat> I don't think that I, like... <laughs> ah, good timing. Good timing for this. We were just hanging out in a different voice chat, and uh, somebody started playing a kung fu movie, and it, like, set me off on a tangent that I didn't expect to go off on. Uh, just discussing film history, and theater history, and kung fu history, and animation history, because they're all intertwined. They all affect each other. 
And I didn't know until recently that, um... Xiao Xiao being one of the big, like, popular animations on Albino Black Sheep and Newgrounds for the era, uh, happened to also very heavily and directly affect so many other animators in a way that I just didn't really think about for a moment, but they, those animations led to other people getting into animation because stick figures are considered, like, easily approachable. And so, literal thousands of artists out there got their start trying to emulate Xiao Xiao. Just simple kung fu stick figure death animations. And those same people led to, eventually, Macromedia Flash being a thing, and then Adobe Flash, after Macromedia got bought out. And then Illustrator and 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 just things linked together. I would love to do a stoner version of the show Connections. Connections was an old learning channel or discovery channel, I can't remember which, um, a show that would give you a set of point topics like oranges and uh, ancient Sumeria and uh, spaceships and the study of lithography and just like connect all these things by a, a series of connections discussing how each of these arts have had an effect on each other, and in some cases not even arts, but sciences. I think I started off high and we're just- we're gonna go from there. <laughs> Oh no, don't tell me I'm mute. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be able to keep track of everything I just said. I can't repeat that. Oh no. I really want to finish Cave Story, but I just, like, have not felt good enough to be able to do the dexterity work necess necessary. Like, the first time I beat that game, I was on a completely different level, uh, where I had been actively gaming every day of my life, without, like, pause, and for about 10 to 15 hours a day, every day, on high dexterity stuff, and I wasn't yet injured from a lifetime of various stupidity. So... <laughs> Oh jeez, I nearly just dropped my uh, grinder, which is glass, onto a concrete floor. I caught it. I'm feeling very spoiled right now. Peter, Peter getting warm, which is messed up because I have it on uh, on a whole new cooling situation. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. That's uh, music. Kirby. Kirby. 
All right, hit apply. Hit resume. Are we in camp? Oh, okay. No, we are after the fight of the hag on the F. Okay, time to read some letters. Blotches of ink are splattered onto this unfinished letter written in uneven scrawl. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not. My red cap snabbed the bugger. They're taking a sweet t their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. Your mother with a failing mind? A mother with a failing mind? You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to vit- all right, and then the other one. I wonder what this was going to be. I never like figured that out in my solo playthrough. Um, this letter is written in elegant cursive. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. Klein fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents, agents picked up his trail along the Kiantar and have ensured he'll pass through your territory. Do as you wish with him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. M. I wonder who M is. Pick these up for evidence because I'm a ranger. Alright, what else we got over here? Cups. I don't really want to be, like, selling bottles and stuff. But it does, it does actually add up. I want to say on average I'm making like between 50 and 100 gold on just picking up all the spoons and ladles and bowls and cups. Uh, are you just throwing stuff now? No. <laughs> Surprised you didn't take the chest. Alright, did we get everything from her? Uh yeah, <clears throat> I found a cool staff that I that I put on Gale. It's a necromancy staff. Okay, this weapon will return to its owner when thrown. Major snare. That's not it. Staff of Crones, Ray of Sickness. What's equipment was that? I just realized. Or wait. Mm hmm. That'll give him a ranged ability. Uh, the staff won't activate his, his ability that we ended up unlocking the, uh, uh, spear, spear mastery so that he'll, like, automatically attack, uh, anything that comes within range. Oh, we didn't get that? No, we, we did get that ability. It won't activate on a staff. I that thought only... he was wearing a spear, though. He's wearing a spear. If he uses the staff... <laughs> it takes up the slot the spear is in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. No, um, I was watching a thing on my other monitor. It was oh. funny. Gotcha. This, this, this. I click the circle. Yeah, alright, so... I clicked with the wrong character. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, we're outside. Yep. So, the girl died, right? Yeah. Alright. Part of the story that is going to be different in our playthrough from, than what I had here. Because grave markers say, "Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot." Uh huh. Connor Vinderblad. Let's talk to him. Are you gonna speak to the dead with the motherfucker? Mm-hmm. Wait. Cannot target undead. What if we kill him? But he's dead already. It says he's dead and he's at 0 out of 22. 
Like, the only thing left that we could do is burn him. <laughs> burn her! Burn her! Okay, and then... Yes. I never did find anything out this way. Taking tea house key. Okay. So we already burned through all of this. Um, yeah. What I would recommend at this point in the game is if you right click on a bag and it says that you can pick up the bag, take the bag because I'm running out of them in uh, by later in the game from selling bags. I'm actually having to buy them back from the vendors. Well, why do you need bugs? To stuff items into to sell as uh, group things. Ooh. What? Oh, there's grease oh, on the floor. Grease. I fucking died. <laughs> I'm dead. I died. You're, you're totally destroyed. Your character will never recover from this. No, will I ever recover? I'm just gonna jump over it. She just runs into the middle of it to jump. Good job. <laughs> Gale has failed a saving know. throw. Conjured Spider has failed a saving throw. <laughs> They're now both laying down. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I clicked on the well and it was like oh yeah flesh sits at the bottom of the well and a great deal of it we you... drink dead people yeah I'm gonna leave and talk to the frog again no I'm Pick gonna it like we did to the squirrel. Um, this character's been friendly to all the animals so far. You're the one that kicked it. Uh, that that was not me. That was mm -hmm. Gale. Glad I could help. <laughs> Remember the thing was like saying that its brain was burning before. Yeah. Ooh, a chest. No one's already in. Yeah, we, we snuck into this area. This is something that the frog will reveal on their own. Uh. Hey there, little frog. <laughs> uh-huh. A pouch. Open. Speak with the dead and Tasha's hideous laughter. Pick up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this this place is bad. Are we fighting the red caps? We are fighting the red caps. Hell yeah. Hey there, Filton. Um. Where's my wolf? My wolf is stuck. Okay, take a walk up this river here. Target outside normal range. Out of sight, Crouch. Out of mind. Not enough resource access. Oh, because crouch. Damn it. All right. Well. Allow me to demonstrate. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
Oh yeah, just misty step your way out of here. I love that he can misty step as a pre action. That's really handy. It's pretty disgusting. You just teleport fucking anywhere. Anywhere that he can see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not even concerned about these things doing any real major damage. We're a poor, very fortified party. Mm -hmm. Alright. And turn. Oh, there's one way out there. He's making his way. Maybe. Seems kind of lost. Gubble gubby. So my wolf cannot get there. She's stuck. I'm just going to have to dismiss her. Opportunity attack. Yes. Slap. And that's why we have the pike. <laughs> mm -hmm. Six free fucking damage. Hell yeah. Gobble gobby. What is it just loading on your side? Yeah. I don't know why it's doing that, but it is. Yeah. Time to crowd. Bite. Aw. Oh. Gobble gobby. <laughs> <laughs> This game has three songs in it, and they're all good, but there's only three songs. I can't shoot over this fucking stump. I hate this. I mean, you are, like, nestled under it in a cr uh, uh, creek side. Bug. Oh, I can. There oh, we nice. go. Yep, right between the branches. That was amazing. Saved against open wound. That's good. Thank you. Fuck out of here. Aw, oh, damn it. If she was one step back, I could hide. This will be fun. Huh? What does that oh, mean? I got no idea. I'm very excited to say that. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Crowding. A gift for a most loathsome neighbor. Dang! Oh, damn! Dang! God damn! There's a spider on my lamp. And it's being a jerk right now. It jumped off of me onto my lamp and is hiding from me. Ugh. Alright. Sorry. Whispers spider. of the spider queen. No, I hit either of them. What the fuck is the other one? Oh, he's way over there. Said I could hit him. Yeah, let's just do Firebolt. Oh, what? Ooh. Okay. Youch. Chomp. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, what do I? Oh, laceration. Got it. Fucking doinks. Dang. <laughs> oh, 
Don't <laughs> <laughs> be him. <laughs> Fucking schmack that motherfucker. How's your morning going, Filton? Yo, fucking get! I don't want you here. Let's go. Ugh. My apologies. I'm being assaulted by a spider. <laughs> Ugh. Chomp. High ground, hell yeah. Huh. God you know damn. What? Here, enjoy. Take this. <laughs> you can keep them. <laughs> you can keep them. Cover me. Oh, he's not dead. No, he is. Now he's dead. Okay. Wisp weed. Oh, hold person and protection from evil and good. I might end up taking a rank in wizard, although the ranger has like such good abilities already at range. The only reason that uh, wizard would make sense, or even cleric, would be to. And again, these are things that you should not be able to multi class in second edition. Like, I'm just at this point taking advantage of the systems built into the game here. But, um. Rangers are not a multi class class. You can't do it, you can't split class. Once you stop being a ranger, you lose your ranger abilities because you're no longer operating under the. the Greater good. Uh, what about that skeleton? And a bone. Okay, so do we have all of this map? Looks like we do. Gubby gubby. In fact, that's that's it. That's the entirety of the tea house. Uh, it says that there's still like a thing for us to look at there, but I think Sandy, I have a, a bunch of these drinks that were sitting on a creepy table in the basement of the uh, yeah so that's progress. the place. They they all got different names. There's oh, you Lovers you found avarice. Yeah, you found all the curses. Uh, all the, the witches' horcruxes. <laughs> oh. These are the uh, the different people and how she bound them to her through, like, evil wishes. Wishes gone awry. The monkey's paw. That kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Insanity's kiss. Something thrushes in the heavy gourd, consumed I by rage. Them. Oh, please don't. Why not? I mean, if you want to. Do the you think lady's they'll... dead. How, like, she won't be able to control me. Do you think that they'll give you power? She's not actually... Didn't... Wait. When we killed her, did we not... Did she just die? She just died like any other mob? There was no cutscene or conversation? Now. Okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, we obviously did... We defeated her in some manner. The reason I'm asking is... um. She has a conversation with the party if the girl survives and, like, tries to make offers and says, like, even if you kill me, I'm not actually going to be dead. It's just really uncomfortable and I'll be back. And so, like, I guess that's out of character information to this party. So, yeah, I mean, if you think that it's going to make you more powerful, drink it. Or if that's... I don't know the kind of person your character is, actually. They're just soups to me. They're just soups to you. <laughs> okay. St funny, they silly, Faerun soups. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna taste them. I wanna see what they taste like. What, they which one are you gonna weird. drink? You have fifty-six poisoned apples. Is there any way that we can use those to make our own poison? 
Uh, probably not, but there's 168 gold of apples. <laughs> A rotten pungency undercuts this potion's otherwise pleasant aroma of roses and honey. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. Wait, Hello, who's vampire. A... Who's Magrin, and why do you have their head? <laughs> I don't have their head. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just sitting here, like, doing investigation and, like, trying to figure out how, how various people died and whatever other crimes through history and notes. And you're just walking around with somebody's disembodied head. I got it in the basement of the Ag's place, because... A lady was standing there with her head in her hands, and I was just like, okay, I'll place it back on her head. And yeah, I kind of wonder what happens if... It kills her. Oh, God. Wait! Oh, I was like, I wonder if you put the head back on, we could talk to them, talk use, talk to dead. Speaking of, Wait, talk did to you dead. pick up their head? No, you didn't. You left it on the ground. <laughs> you left it on the ground for my hands to pick back up. Oh, okay. Sag. Yeah. Oh, wait. I wanted to use it on a skeleton. Oh, it doesn't work on skeletons. I wanted to have a funny conversation with a skeleton. Something thrashes in this potion. Are you, are you going to drink it? Consumed by rage. Now that sounds like an alcoholic drink to me, baby. That, that's some Down fiery that. spirit. Oh god. Uh, let me go look Parasite at swims in the bottom of this bottle, fat with strength. Huh. That'll give you strength, right? Yeah. Try it. Broken promises. Strength is increased by two until the next long rest. I'm Upon resting, strength is indefinitely reduced by one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Maybe you don't drink the uh, poison. <laughs> do you, do you want to... Do you want to potentially reload for that one? Because that's, that's, like, permanent. <laughs> no, I don't care. I think it's funny. Okay, okay. We we have broken promises have done you permanent damage. Also, there's like a whole section of the forest we didn't go to before here. Yo. It's my broken promise of waking up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently punishing us both. Beehives. Oh, cute! So, bone cap is a wood-loving mushroom. Mm. I'm like learning about the mycology of a fantasy realm in true sandwife fashion. Ooh, a berry bush. This is this is the real reason to take ranger as a class. You just go snacking <laughs> while you're walking through the forest, like you're in Skyrim. The fact path is interrupted. Frick you, game. I wish I could talk to my spider or pet it. <clears throat> nope. It's just a soldier. Oh, right. This is the Goblin Town. The Goblin Town? It was once an elven town, Moonhaven. Seems simple enough. Moonhaven. The one with the spider underneath it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is the one with the spider underneath it. We have to go kill that thing still. Uh, we do. Ow. I would say... I would like to wait until our spellcaster is one level higher because it'll give access to tier 3 spells. But we need to kill it for XP. Yeah, or we can fight the... I'll take that. Wait, did we not go in here yet? There's so much stuff here still. It's like full potions of healing and stuff. 
No, I think we did go in here. Did, did they reload it for me? Uh, we definitely did go in here, though. A rusted key and a lever. I mean, I see that the workshop's open down here. Bottle, 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 bottle. Leave or. Leave or. It's like a garage door opener. You worry about it breaking every time. <laughs> Cannot be added to inventory. Inventory. Oh, fish. Fish barrel. Contains fish. Who, who would I guess? Hi, <laughs> <clears throat> pseudo. Do so love desks covered in correspondence. That I do not get to interact with in any way whatsoever. It's just there. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we took the evil book. Yeah, we... Yeah. Okay. The book. Got the whole face on it. Can I... There's a whole skeleton here. I oh, can't talk to you either. Okay. No, lady, did you hit the lever again? Oh, no, something else hit the lever. I do not know. I no longer want to know. I just want out. Oh, I keep knocking over my trash can, and it's getting distressing. So I'm just taking the bag out and leaving it on the floor, which grosses me out, but a lot less than it constantly tipping over and leaking fucking... <laughs> yeah. Alright. Where did you go? Also, what are you up to? What now? Perform bard dance. Okay. Performance successful. Interesting. Are you okay with us doing a rest? Uh, yeah, short rest, you're fine. Alright. Cool. Scale's pretty hurt. Alright, Gale. Get up here. You can talk to the dead tiefling over here. I will absolutely do so after uh, we handle this interaction. Do you have an interaction? The one you're in. What do you mean? The one where we start a fight with them. <laughs> I'm playing them some fucking tunes. Uh huh. But don't don't you want experience? I'm gonna talk to him. You're gonna talk to him? Alright, let's listen. You're talking to Sestaria. Temptation knocks. Um. Oh. I've no use for the absolute. I noticed you don't Brandy. brand a brand of your own. I follow two masters only. Gluttony <laughs> and greed. <laughs> the goblins understand my appetites. Does he have anything good they for trade? My Hunger for gold, and the rest save my hunger for meat. I simply look for marks. Gold is more than sufficient. Didn't we already talk to him about this? Yeah. Would you like to work for me? Make me an offer. Tempt me. 500 fucking gold. That's... Oh, but you do love to tease. 
I'd be willing, actually, but I also kind of want the loot that they have. <laughs> Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Yeah, the integration for this is amazing. Being able to look at our journal entries, being able to look at our inventories, it's really nice. So yeah, we can actually get up on the roof here and attack these three. They can't get to us because they're too big. Hmm. What about the support beam? Can use that to knock it down on them while we're up here. Well, why would we be up there when we knock it down? And we we're just gonna take fall damage. There's another one. Wait, what support beam are you looking at? There's the one that I'm standing next to, and then the one that has two out of two health. Oh, I didn't even see this one. No, I, I'm on this part of the wall over here, which has its own set of beams. I don't know what happens if that one gets knocked down. But uh, I managed to take them out without needing to do that on yeah. my, my solo playthrough. Like I just hung out up here, and every time they tried to get up on the roof, I'd push them back down. Using the, the arcane push. Oh, we need to do a long rest to get more of those. My phone is going off and I don't know where it is. Hello, phone. I can shoot those support beams and see what happens. You want to do that while you're down there? Yeah, because the roof's going to fall on them. Okay. I'll hang out up here. Are you oh. sure you want to be up there? Yep. Gale and I will crouch. Gale has misty step. I have ranger hops. Okay. Where's my Wait, spider? Are you ready? Where's my spider? Uh, Aranea, come over here. Big, big hoppy spider. This one's gonna use web. And ungroup, ungroup conjured spider. Let's have you go down here, over by them, just to give them crowding. Oh, they don't like the spider. That's funny. <laughs> so I can make them all hang out underneath the support beam here, then. Interesting. Okay. Well, that helps. Never a dull moment. Ready when you are. Hey, what? No, I unlinked you. What the hell? <laughs> Go back down there. But then it hurts itself. Good job. Oh, the yell scatter. Okay. There. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, what the fuck is that there? What is Fank doing? Fank, get your ass over here, boo. I'm about to collapse the fucking roof on your skull. Alright, we're uh, doing it. Oh. That right. didn't do nothing. Web. Web all three of them. Names and heights have been carved into the wood over the years. The last two read Maggie Terrans and Marcus Terrans. Twins, perhaps. I wonder if this is worth the cost. The roof didn't do nothing. It'll be okay. Uh, bow, fire arrow. We're gonna aim for lump specifically because he's the bigger threat. You've made a grave mistake. And now everything's on fire. Oh, I may have destroyed the tiefling's body. I didn't think about that. Thank you, Pilton. Oh, no. Have a good one, hun. Uh, oh well. What just happened? Oh, I the used a void bomb. Oh, nice. That worked really well. Okay. Uh, that's a good reminder to me that I have things like poison. 
Ooh, elixir of hill giant strength would also be a good idea. Eh, I'll hold off. Enter. Loud spider. So, fun thing about the fire arrows, uh, when I have Aranea available, my wolf spider companion, it can shoot more web. Anywhere that there's fire, the web will also catch, so it acts as a bomb ability repeatedly every turn. Oh my. Advantage because this person's in webbed. Hang on, back here. Every turn. Wait, how are you in webbed and on fire? Well, but not anymore. Just... Ooh, four damage even on a miss. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get behind that guy. Yeah, be ready to try and get on the roof to get away from all of them because it's it's a lot to be down there at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, while he has blur, it'll be much harder to hit him. Thankfully, won't be an issue. Because he's on fire again. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Why can't I continue walking over this way? Let's go. Mm. Two. Is he like actively taunting them in combat as a bard? Is that what's happening? Yep. That's amazing. Just attack with advantage, high ground, that. That's much higher damage. Yeah, we'll just do that. Make you see your bow. Save your save your spell slot. We're gonna need him. Oh, that no. poor spider. Concentration throw. Oof. Yeah! Did that break his concentration? Nope. Dang. Alright. We'll just do it again. Oh no. I didn't mean to get down. Well, that works. And turn. Almost down. Concentration broken. I don't know what exploded just now. A grease bottle. Oh. That's handy. Nice! Good job. Uh, Poor Sylvad. Uh oh. Uh oh. He used us. We're fine. Okay. Let me know if you want me to start using the bigger spells like Shatter. Uh. This I'm gonna. Be fine. I'm gonna hold off to use that spell slot for knocking them off if they try to get on the roof because Gale cannot take a single hit. Yeah, in, the mean, in the meantime, like he's doing really well with this. I didn't expect that. Okay, lump continues to burn. Still that you are wait, at two health. Yeah, wait, what the heck? Taking a lot of acid damage. Oh, Burn. I can't walk over there because there's no floor there. Okay. You picked the wrong 
Fire my own acid arrow. Lily Lung Limper Luster. He's just having fun now. <laughs> wow. You know what? I want to. I want to see Gale take out Lump with a crossbow. Ah, uh, almost. So close. Should have thrown the pike instead. Oh, the fire did it. <laughs> 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 Roasted. All right, next. More fire. And dirt. Another day. I want to point out that we are doing so much damage. We've taken out three ogres with one of them in melee every time. This is going yeah. well. This makes me feel <laughs> pretty good about our chances against that spider. Oh, crap. Shove him. Too heavy to shove. Uh. Ah. Um. Hey! Alright. Time to go loot. Watch out for the, uh, fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... Hey, spider. Okay, fire's gone. I have a lot on my mind. Dig up five well, buried trusts in a single playthrough. Tiefling's still okay. Yeah. Casting speak with dead. The tiefling's corpse stirs with the spell. You realize the tiefling's body has been torn open by huge hands. <sighs> what brought you to this village? Warriors. Gold. Skin. Oh. Where did you see these warriors? Where are you from? Who did this to you? Ogres, <laughs> Anything you happen to have? Valid. Be well. Instead of bitches like, nah, I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> yep. Goddamn. 103 gold here. No way! I can cast it on them? Are they gonna say anything? I don't know. Corpse is too damaged. Lump burned. Dang. Oh no. So we got something very, very fancy. That mm. uh, I I think I want. I think I want. What do we Remember got? how I was talking about uh, potentially taking a split class this upcoming level in spellcaster uh my int is my dump stat uh right now you can see that it's an eight but i got a thing off of lump the reason he's enlightened check out my int now god dang mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah uh this is gonna get silly my wisdom, my int and wisdom, seventeen fifteen. This character is going to see through the future. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
It also means that she's like more likely to pass religion checks and stuff. Also, we can completely level this village if we wanted to. That was the big threat of this place was lump. All right. Uh, some spider. How close are we to leveling? Needs three thousand and twenty. Yikes. Yeah, we're, we're okay. pretty we're far a, off. A ways away. Oh, I need to relink my party. Still breathing, despite everything. Well, I guess we so don't want to blast on this fucker. Are we? Uh, do you want to destroy the entire goblin settlement and save the druids? Apparently, you can pick sides in, in this situation. Oh, so you can actually pick the side of the goblins? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Would we, like, raid the fucking druids? We would end up attacking the druid encampment as the uh, goblin pack, yeah. Well, no, because we already slaughtered the goblins, and we kind of already took sides with the druids. Okay. Well, not the druids, but, like, the, the people at the town. Yeah, the refugees. Mm-hmm. Okay. So am I blasting this fucker? I guess so. He just said, just behave, yeah? I don't even know where you are. There's an arrow to his forehead. Oh, I'm on the other roof. Oh, okay. I'll head over there. Really? Well, here you go. Bop. I don't even know how to get on this roof. There's a ladder at the front. Hmm. Huh. Enter turn base mode. Web. Everybody here. Immune to and webbed. Interesting. Mm. Well, instead, we'll just crowd the door. Why don't I have an action? Oh, because I started the fight with. I'm just shooting them. One can't always be a gentleman. I won't give in. I hope this ends well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dang, that's a big axe. Six damage. Have to keep going. Let's head back over this way. Bite. Poisoned. Oh wow, the wolf spider does a lot of damage in combat. It's good to know. Pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. <laughs> I certainly did. My spider just one-shotted this goblin. Goddamn. <laughs> well, I don't get my beauty sleep soon. I may just get a malcontent. Oh, and Gale wants to get some sleep. Mm. Well, fuck you, Gale. Cause there ain't no rest for the wicked. 
Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed, there ain't nothing in this world for free. Oh, they have commenced battle. Hello. You arrest them! Uh huh. You need to heal, by the way. Just a bit. We're, we're fine. Maybe a little bit less fine. No oh good, eh? Are uh, you really gonna make me do that to you? You fuckwad. Can I shove him? Oh, I can. We're good. That actually works. Holy shit, I'm smart as fuck. <laughs> I shoved him away from me so I could uh, cancel his opportunity attack. Nice. I love my spider just like casually doop 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 doop. <laughs> still breathing, despite everything. Okay. Dang. The hell of a shot. That didn't work. Good to know. Wow. Yeah, it's an AoE in front of you. That wasn't... Oh, did I use Thunder Wave instead of Shatter? Yeah. Damn it, I was trying to use Shatter. <laughs> that explains what happened. My poor spider. <laughs> what the what? hell? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Just gotta start that fire, you know? And then my spider continues Our it. Times, dude. <laughs> Pyromaniac spider! <laughs> That guy fucking died. He took one hit and died. I can't hit anything over there. Gale does not have the proficiency necessary. Yeah, it's not close enough. Just fell off the roof. Oh no. Was it because there was grease? Wait. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, concentration cantrip. Okay, yes. Oh, and it must be targeting something? I don't know. I don't care. Ow. That ray of sickness is getting really annoying. Mm -hmm. I just one shot it. Good. Can't slow down. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I can't see him. Further, further onto the roof. Let's see. 
I don't think there's any feasible way for the spider to get up there. Oh, but this still works. Although I may have just lit the ladder on fire. We'll see in a sec. Not as far enough away. Uh, Angle of attack. 20%. It's the last one. The other tracker just outright died. This one's going to end up burning to death. Love those missile deflectors. <laughs> also, you're sitting on the edge now. Bye! Are you kidding me? Burn! Dink. Very nice. Very, right. very nice. I'm gonna run over here and loot all these roof corpses. <laughs> oh, it's starting in the way. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to heal people. Failed saving throw. We got a key. Got some arrows of fire. Very nice. Let's get going. Okay. Next up, we gotta get up here. Seen everything. There's another key over here. I'm on fire. Jail, why? You just wanted to roast as well? Okay. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> Miss Wow What did she throw? The fucking rock apparently. <laughs> Chomp. Oh. A javelin. Gale oh. just took a javelin to the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yonk? That's hard to know. Yonk. I thought we'd already been through here. Also, this goblin tracker looks like they're still alive, but they're not. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm about to go down the well. Uh, can we long rest? That's a room full of spiders. We still got a short rest. No spells. I've been using spells. Okay. It's not like we don't have food. No, it's just I have strength two. Oh right. Next Never rest. mind. I I see what you're up to. Okay, and let's. Yeah, you're right, Astarian. Time to see what new horror awaits us. We're fine. Okay, so we came down here before and bought a bunch of Eddercaps, didn't we? 
The face fighter is yeah, dead we up there. Him up until the boss. Okay. And there's still grease there. There's. Wow. Stuff everywhere in here. Editor cap empty. Okay. You're going down the main path. I am. No. If you stand up here, the face spider has to come to you through a series of uh, like paths, and each of them is over an actual surface area. So if you take out the web, the spider takes fall damage. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you ready to fight? I suppose so. Uh, let me summon my spider. Okay. And where is... Yeah, you, you can't get here. Why can't you get here? I'm just gonna... Okay. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> All right. I go. Strike with precision. Uh oh. Vents battle. So. So that just did half of its health in one shot. And now we have high ground advantage for a while. I'm gonna cast web down there so you can also use fire damage to your advantage. Oh my. Was that? Aww, oh, that was RNA. Okay. That sucks. Get out of the fire. Yeah, yeah. They all just burn. <laughs> they really just did that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Hi. Uh oh. Uh huh. Okay, Gale, no, you're not ready. All right, understood. <sighs> this did not go the way I expected it to go. Yeah. I, I, I have to think now. This just got crunchy. <laughs> oh, no. Old person, blur might not be a bad idea right now. Featherfall. Wait. Oh, nice. You killed something. Mm hmm. I can blow up the spider. Ooh. 16% chance to. Why is it 16%? No. This, this does damage. How? Okay. Well, drink a giant potion then. Not that one. And turn. No, of course that one just fucking teleports up. Still on my feet. I speak, they burn. 
He's out of Thunder Wave. What does he have for funny magical abilities? Can also use Arrow of Fire. Yeah, do it. Oh, I see. That was the the smoke powder satchel. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Well, Gale dead. What? Um. Oh no. Oh wow. Killed Gale. I mean, Gale was dead. He's no, he's just threatened and no. downed. I just revived Gale with my turn. Uh, oh well. <laughs> and he just burned him. <laughs> I am currently being attacked by a giant spider. In case you hadn't noticed. I guess main hand. Yeah, that was what I was afraid of. Lady, you are gonna get eaten this next round. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love the shield! Trouble, miss. The shield wow. is amazing! <laughs> Drink a potion, stab a spider, that's fine, cast blur on self, you need it. Good. Double miss a gun. Well that's, I'm using blur now. Yes, yes, good, backstab, very good. Uh, we got him. Wow. Oh, the blur, blur effect is so cool. We got Poisoner's Robe. Mm. Gale's down. Alright. Now we should sleep. Yeah. Where's Gale? Are you? A star is down in camp. What the? Death saving throw failed. He's also shirtless. Oh, never mind. His shirt's on. Uh, where what are, are you? What are we talking about? Looking at something. Looking at something? Uh. Just looking. What are you I'm doing? Too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Oh, he can't see himself in mirrors. Oh. Do you miss it seeing your own face? Petty vanity. 
Of course I miss it. <laughs> I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Damn. What? Imagine not being able to see your own beauty. What <laughs> color were they I, before? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, my yeah? face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Uh, and what do you see exactly? Strong, piercing eyes. Strong, oh. piercing eyes. <laughs> that dangerous <laughs> smile. Hi, Koi. <laughs> and we can call it a day. We can call it a day. <laughs> You're pretty good. Not Gale, but pretty good. I thought we had something special. <laughs> Still, you are nice too. Oh. I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. Rude. <laughs> Do you want to talk to anybody? Hmm. I want to put some items away. Studded leather. What are what yeah, what is everyone wearing? Okay. Light armor. Here's some better light armor for Astarian. If you decide to do a poison build, uh, oh, it's when your player casts a spell. Never mind. Poison spells. Not wearing armor or a shield. A robe does not qualify as armor in this case, I have found out. Mm. So, like, if I put the bracers of defense on Gale right now... Oh. Oh? Oh. Yeah, AC-13. If he has a robe on, still AC-13. Wait a second, he's wearing a simple robe still. Here, dude. No. Bitty. I know you want to go to bed. I have so much trash in my inventory. You're good. Okay. Wooden shields and skulls and leather armor and uh, literal rocks. I just have rocks in my pocket because I am a puppy. What do you want to do with these whispering masks? Um, uh, I don't know. You can put them in a chest somewhere. Yeah. Uh, in my playthrough, all the random bottles of curses that you get from her place, I just, like, stuff them into a bag and put the bag in a chest. Mm -hmm. Put the do not drink label on them, too. Yeah, pretty much. Lock out, tag out. Okay. I need to... where's the... yeah. Uh, what is this? Camp supplies. That was cute. Loud giggle in the background. Hmm. 
apparently the type of vessel that you end up uh, storing your stuff in also makes a difference as to what you can and cannot use in combat. Mm -hmm. Frustrating. Okay, well, I've reduced my weight by half. Uh, is there anyone I want to talk to? Yes, but she's not here yet, so I'll talk to Shadow. Something the matter? Yes, it's me. I'm the matter. Leave. <laughs> uh, Will, silly, Astarian is Astarian. Gail, go to hell. Lazelle, whatever. I'm so mad at this game for making me have to be monogamous. <laughs> Auto select. Full arrest. It's time to have dreams. All right. Ooh, new robe on Gale. Ew. Ew. He's all slimy. You ready to leave? Yeah. Uh, okay. Edder cap empty. Edder cap empty. Edder cap empty. Edder cap. Edder cap. So something fun about these spiderlings. You can pick them up. Oh. You can use it, their bodies as weapons. You can pick them up and they go poof, which I find highly entertaining. And they weigh oh. almost nothing. Like, not even a pound. There. Now it has... Dark Amethyst. You found it! Remember that evil book you found? Yeah. Remember the little spider workshop we found here? Also, there's a mm -hmm. way waypoint in here to come back. <laughs> Wait, I missed something in their dialogue. Uh, something to matter? Leave. <laughs> I never did find anything up here. Oh, there's some, something. Oh, it's the face spider eggs that hatched. Let me just sneeze a bunch. Oh, whoops. Empty skeleton, empty skeleton, 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 skeleton. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Scream, 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 scream. Wow. Scrambled him. I mean, where is back home to you, strange little Caldore? Okay. Oh, I took all the books from here. But this is where a person was teaching themselves about the spider god. Well, Loth. Not my spider god. Somebody else's spider god. <laughs> I'm not a drow, you see. Can I talk to these skeletons? Nope. It says can't target undead. That's so weird that it qualifies those skeletons as undead. There you go. Gail has the um the book and the amethyst. Ooh. Do we want Gail to become a necromancer? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you wanted to do with him. The book is Starting the conversation. No visible keyhole. In the this is absolutely in character for Gale. 
You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You've seen similar books in wizards' libraries. A tome on Thayan magic. A rare and expensive find. But people have gone mad reading less dangerous texts. Beep. The look on his face, like, uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Koi. Sorry, we're a little distracted. the The story has been very fun in this. Let's see here. I guess open the book. The book's pull is irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Turn to the next page, wary of any arcane tricks. Hmm. All right. The symbols... The symbols move aggressively. Oh. Turn another page. Oh. Oh. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. Same. your hand to turn another page. <laughs> Ooh. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, I'm going to use the inspiration. No. Nah. All right. Uh oh. Black strands of weave fill all about you, only to sink as into graves as you try to grab hold. Necromantic spells, tantalizingly powerful, slip away forever. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. Hmm. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. <clears throat> Finish reading. So that qualified as finishing. Interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened to my co-star here. It appears they, they may have evaporated. Stone. Stone. Uh oh. Hmm. 
I may I may have lost stone. Just as things were getting interesting. Okay, where are the others? Wait, what? Oh, hello. Hi, hello. Welcome back. Hello. Hi. What happened? My whole computer died. Oh, no. You're good. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're back. Let's see. Um, okay, so I passed a bunch of wisdom checks and then I failed the last one, which um, still qualified as having finishing the the book of necromancy. I don't know if Gail's the only one that can read it or if anybody else can, because I might actually have uh Oh, which one was her name? Sarah's. Yeah, I might have Sarah's read it as well, since she was chasing like any and all forms of power. Mm -hmm. But now he has whispers of madness, which means he gets uh, fail saving throws on wisdom checks. Which kind of sucks because he's a he's a wizard. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I don't know how long that's going to be a thing. I also don't know where your characters are. Oh, you made it outside. Yeah. Alright. I'll head out there. I was messing around with the teleports and all that. Ah. Uh... Okay, we're gonna do wolf. The spider is funny, but so cheaty. Here goes nothing. If not over, then through. Yeah, we searched for this stuff over here. Mysterious hole. What's in the mysterious hole? I already looted the mysterious hole. Oh, okay. Did we go through wooden hatch in the back of the windmill already? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Heavy backpack, empty heavy chest, empty. Okay. All right. No rest for I look back at Gale, and I don't think he has any poison spells. He does not have any poison spells. <laughs> uh, mm, I'll have to reconsider that. Wasn't there another robe that we picked up? Um... I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, armor for a starian. Gail is just casually carrying around an opulent chest. Send to camp. Yep. He's getting his weightlifting in. How much farther can I go? Wow, she's already whining. We just got out of camp. Uh. Um... Do you want to try to do any of the quests? I would like to get Karlak because she's 
fun to have in the party. Uh, we need to have the benefit of Gale's spellcasting for now, although giving Karlak a rank of spellcasting makes her almost as effective as him fairly early on, but he's so close to getting tier 3 magic, which is a long ways off if we were to use any other spellcaster. Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, actually, hmm, 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 thinking. We could, nah, I'm gonna keep the, well, hmm. If I stick with the current build that I've got, I can drop Gale, give the uh, intelligence circlet to Karlak, and make her like an immediately effective spellcaster. We can also re-roll her at uh, Withers for just 100 gold. I would way prefer to have her in the party for flavor and all that. Let's do that. Let's go get Karlak. She is due north of us. I'll head over to where you're at. There's a dog! Oh yeah, we should, we should get the dog too. Let me do speak with Animamo. I wanna talk to the doggy. Oh, go talk to the dog. No scratch. Arf, arf, grrrf. Sidestep him to get <laughs> to the corpse? What does that mean? I'm gonna reach out and pet him. He's got a little collar on for these friendly. I wanna pet him. Minus one wisdom. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh. What do you mean? Wait, Aww. what? You got it right on. It showed a nine over here. Yeah, and then at minus one and plus two. Oh, I didn't ever see the plus two. that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Pardon. Whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Motion him to follow. The I want the doggy. With sad eyes. He does not move. Looks like I just showed up, so I can also talk. Hey, Bucky! Scratch is the best boy. Hold him. Hold out your hand. Dog sniffs your hand. His tail swung low in understanding. Aww. He knows how to find you. You did that on your Aww. own without animal speaking. That's awesome. I didn't know that was an option. I got the doggo. You got the doggo. doggo. Congrats, your doggo. Oh. If you speak to him again, he's in a sad pose. Oh. And yeah. it's like, Seems like a good moment to he's mourning. I'm I'm a sad now, the poor doggo. What's your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. <laughs> what happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. The cackling furry things on two legs, and their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Gnolls. We gotta get revenge. Oh, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. I'm going to Can do you something speak with the dead. I was about to say I'm going to do something very upsetting to scratch. 
<laughs> Wait, oh, wrong one. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Um, what happened to you? Okay. Why were you in this forest? Let this delivery to Baldur's Gate. Where did you keep the letters? In bank. Standard issue. Okay. Who are you? And where are you from? from the spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Sleep now. Should I read the letters? I'd say so. Inspiration. Page. Alrighty. Tough letter. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city, not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where a M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. Stone's uh, committing mail fraud. Stone's committing the non-racist version of the postman that I wish the movie had been and my memory had put together. And God, that was an awful movie. Also, uh, I totally get it, Bucky. I've been doing the same thing. I am. My brain is nothing but D&D &D anymore. Okay, sorry, Stone. <laughs> Just reading the chat. Davin says, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named Aww. him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Aww. Flora, and David Jr. Aww. And then Gomwick. Be doubly careful. Doubly? I don't doubly. know. Doubly. Doubly. Careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travelers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger... Winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself. Better late than never, Postman General Danzo. Huh. Alright, I managed to get myself stuck into a, a new interaction here, so I'm going to wait. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? Uh, I went hopping on some rocks over by the creek. Other way. Other way. Where's your dog going? Huh? What? Oh, what is my dog doing? Where is my dog? What my dog's dog stuck dog in the middle of town still. I have a thing to talk to Gail with, apparently. Yeah, Gail's not feeling too great. We need to... That's Gale. not the right way either. I'm going this Please way. Please now hardly the time. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I guess he wants to talk to me specifically. The way that, uh... Alistair wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Astarian. The... Alistair. I'm waiting for my dog. It's still walking. She's taking a walk through the forest, being a dog. Interesting. On my way. Okay, Gail, Gail, Gail. Buddy, I need you to jump. You can't just stay there. No time to rest. Breathe deep and move. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic, or it may become volatile. Mm-hmm. Brace the defense. We're not using them. There you go, bud. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, like a lost 
soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But... Verbose? This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right. But it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Gail, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain. I was going to start speaking Dr. Seuss rhymes. <laughs> I need to. Yeah, I kind wanna... of want to reread all that in iambic pentameter. Thank you for the, the fire does fizzle. The, the drizzle the drizzle. Too. The drizzle does sizzle as the embers done. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to speak in the whole fucking Dr. Seuss book. Okay. Oh, I found the knolls. I found Kaga. Kaga? No, Who's Kaga. Kaga? Car Carlac. Kaga's the druid that we need to go like deal with as well, but Carlac's the uh the cute tiefling. So I'm gonna go <laughs> Interaction has initiated. Pretty woman Chilling standing by the across stream. the creek. <laughs> I guess she ain't chilling. <laughs> Pretty woman. <laughs> Ripped up to a thousand peas. <laughs> what a hottie. Mm -hmm. My first words to her would be humana, humana, wooga. Try to douse the flames. Steady on, soldier. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Where were you? Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What's that? <laughs> That's what were you, wacky. What were you saying before we were interrupted? <laughs> Some so-called paladins of Tear are in hot pursuit of yours truly, Karnak. Wait, no, why does she have a tadpole in her head? On top of problems. If she was in the war that we flew over, yeah, she wasn't been, even on the ship. I've been trying to figure that out too. What's your name? Maybe like she was in a different day of the war. Hmm. I'm Sarah Sakil. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? <laughs> okay. A little background. You're pretty hot, so yeah, I'll Can't do it. Something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I'd bark like a dog <laughs> for you, <laughs> holy... <laughs> Took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Yeah, we are absolutely uh, swapping her in instead of Gail. Believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? Oh hell yes. Uh, let's send him back where they came from. Yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. 
After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the Didn't we already kind of kill everybody up there? Uh, Not yet. We haven't been to that place yet. Oh, I thought that was the I goblin camp. I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> the fuck, Gale? Territorial? <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Hang on, though. Looks like you got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. Oh, we'll make it. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. Yeah. But don't yeah I mean, you can sit on my face and we'll become one person. Oh my god. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> okay. Uh. Go to camp. <laughs> I want to see the great depths of hell. Holy. Gail, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gail. Gail, I'm not sorry. Gail, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Gail, enjoy whatever it is that you do. Here, Why is where's... Gail naked? Because I took his... Oh, damn it, I just equipped the wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, because I just took all of his armor off. Damn. Gail's fucking naked. Mm hmm He naked. Uh, we're just gonna stick all of the things that Gail had into a bag that we're then going to hand over to <laughs> Alright, here's Carlac. your starting equipment. <laughs> yep. Here, here's your party starting equipment. Gail, GTFO, bud. Here's your cursed mask. Your own buckler. Kick to the Gale has um <sighs> Gale has upset me in multiple planes on multiple existences and I I am done with it. <laughs> Gale has baggage. Twisted binding. Can no longer drop item. Oh that oh. Well, you know, Gail, you can deal with that. Enjoy, enjoy your complimentary book as a uh, payment for being part of this party. Got a long road ahead. You, you can follow ahead. along with us, and we'll keep asking you about magic stuff. But uh, <clears throat> just thought of something. An ally fresh from the hells themselves. Hmm. Our company grows stranger by the minute, and all the better. F I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. That's nice, bud. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Yeah, read your cursed book. Have fun. What are you casting? You summoned a cat. Meow. What can I do? You summoned a cat and murdered it? <laughs> it's uh... not a real cat. Okay, do you want do you want to have a, a fun conversation with Carlac? I want all the conversations with Carlac. Okay. I want to know how that bitch's day was. Like, humming a humming a. Just so you know, uh, she's like okay with you being flirty for a while with other people, but will eventually want you to be monogamous, and you're already with a starian. I. Oh, yeah. I was I was talking about you speaking to her. Oh, okay, okay. What can I do you for? Damn, you gotta speak with animals. Not <laughs> car like a beast. <laughs> God up... damn. How did you end up fighting in the blood war? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Oh, a small army of talented individuals just camped out lazing about while all this is going down. Honestly, like Swapping the party out for each individual, like, interaction seems like the correct thing to do, storyline-wise, that you're actually expected to do so. And uh, part of the balancing that they've done to allow for that is that they level the whole party. Like, when your party gains experience from killing something, even the people in camp gain experience from hearing about the stories of those battles from the adventurers. So you're able to keep them like at equal level with everyone else save for the things gained from inspiration 
All right, in your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Puppy! <laughs> Ah, uh, just where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about Carlag good. Of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be trapped in Avernus still with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I had be in the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the worst. <laughs> Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of trouble to throw ourselves at. I would like that. All right, bud. Why are we slowing down? Because we're heading out. La, la, la. So oh, Karlak starts as a level one barbarian, which gives what abilities? Rage starts out with rage. Starts out with rage. Things. Mm hmm. hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. Where's that bag? Okay. Open. Take all. Barbarian clothes, clothing. Uncommon clothing. Oh, that's fun. I don't plan on having her using poison either, though. Cute outfit. I like her default. Okay. Uh, Pike does not gain any bonus. Extra reach two-handed also has thrown and returns to owner when thrown. Plus gets a strength bonus. This could prove interesting. Uh... uh Sword by type. I appear to be missing those bracers. How, though? That's the bag full of scrolls. I have to go talk to him again. I guess I didn't get the bracers off of him. It looks like I did. What's on your mind? Uh, damn, I have to. Ugh. All right, Carlac, I'm sorry. Need to stay at the camp for now. Yes, you heard me. What did I do? Game, please. What are you trying to do? Okay, so I'm with I appear to have accidentally left the bracers of archery on Gale. Yep, there they are. I don't know how I pulled that off, but I did. Can't give up now. You took this motherfucker's shoes. He ain't got no shoes on. That's, That's nice. 
<laughs> you want to dress him, feel free. <laughs> Where them shoes at? You got them fucking dogs out. Them shits be barking. Oh, damn. Very well. When we found him, he was in a rock. True. Hey, yo, where your clothes at? Story. Go on. No. Okay. Equip these. Mm, equip that. Gain your proficiency. Could use ensnaring strike with a returning pike, which would be funny as hell. Okay, so I'm not going to level Karlak towards heavy armor unless that's something that we want to go for. For now, I'm going to actually try and do more of a stealthy medium armor build. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Ricky. Are you going to be the song bastard crying? Huh? What's up? Can you keep my laundry over there? What do you mean? Okay. What does it mean? These are the cantrips that are available. Now that I realize this, Ray of Frost is not that great. Minor illusion compels nearby creatures to investigate. Friends as a cantrip. Friends as a cantrip. We don't use Mage Hand that often. More often than not, we end up doing other weird things. We're going to drop that one as well and switch to Shocking Grasp. Spells. Clear Are there everything. any bonus action cantrips? Uh, eventually, I think, but I haven't messed with any of that yet. Ow. I need to take Ibuprofen. <sighs> one moment. Yeah, this is gonna unfortunately be a sec as I have to rebuild a character. But I'm not going to drop the initial level of wait a minute. <laughs> thoughts. If I drop the initial level of barbarian and give her ranger instead, she starts with a wisdom of twelve, which is low for a ranger, but a strength of seventeen and a dex of thirteen, which means she won't miss, and when she does hit, she's gonna hit hard. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the hundred gold to do a ranger base instead on her. Withers, withers. Ah, oh, I shall be here in my camp. As the. Blah. Another fun thing about this. Oops. Uh, starting as Ranger gives you 2d8 health to start. Mm -hmm. Ranger Knight. Gains skill proficiency in history and armor proficiency with heavy armor. Just gains heavy armor proficiency outright. Right off the bat. It's okay. Works for me. Works for me. Then <laughs> drop the intelligence even lower. Alright. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey there, Fabrizia. 
I am messing with the fates. Carlock is now a ranger. And is about to become a ranger wizard. A ranger knight wizard. Criv the green knight, you return! Oh. That would be a spell, though. Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna... Bop. Bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Enhanced Leap is a spell. There was a way that I got a cleric to do... <laughs> what if just curiosity what if light life trickery knowledge war tempest nature trickery the, um ice cantrips Does this change which ones are available? Okay, it doesn't. I'm sorry, folks. I have ideas, and they're very they're very cross wired. Okay. So yeah. Um uh, Ice Knife, Thunder Wave. Chromatic Orb. Shield is level one. You can learn shield at level one and it'll negate magic missile. Somebody was pointing out to me that Magic Missile becomes useless at later levels. It's only if you meet a character that actually uses and has shield. Hmm. Ray of Sickness. Ray of Sickness actually does decent damage to start. It's surprising. Until long rest. Gain dash immediately and as a bonus action on each of your turns until the spell ends. Spell ends at long rest. Can cast Expeditious Retreat as a bonus action at any point before. You're asking about spells that can be cast as bonus actions. There's one of them. That and Misty Step could allow for some interesting things. In this case, Burning Hands and Feather Ball. Misty Step is so good. Prepared spells. For now, Magic Missile. That's about to change, though. <clears throat> Besides that, Karlak looks really cute with a blue gem in the middle. When you get an extra magic missile necklace, pew pew pew, done some funny things with Misty Step and Shove. Oh, I bet. That's I uh that's very reminiscent of Worms. Playing Worms Armageddon definitely taught me how to do tactical combat. Like, of all things, that's the game that taught me. Back on like the PS1. Okay. Ranger level 2 gains 2 spells, or God can multi-class even further. So, go to Wizard, choose subclass Abjuration, no, Evocation, because spell sculpting, allowing explosive spells like Fire Blast to be used without damaging the rest of the party. This is what makes Thunder Wave so funny. Learn more spells. Hmm. Right. 
Mage armor only adds 13 environmental things like grease and fire. I've been doing some hilarious things with a ranger with a wolf spider and its web ability and uh, anybody using firebolt because you can just make the floor always on fire everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. Burn. Burn. Accept. Bad spell. Accept. The floor is lava. Yeah. It gains level two spells. Hold person because it is brutally powerful. Misty step because it is necessary. Misty step on a ranger. And can now wear heavy armor because of the, the ranger bonus. Um, I don't know if like heavy armor proficiency as a separate feat needs to be taken or if that just got built in. We're about to find out. Where is big box full of fancy armor? That's a box of books. Just can't shake you, can I? Who's she talking to? The light crossbows, not hand crossbows. That's a camp supply sack. Hey there, Ada. How's it going? Ataraxi, hi hi. Hi hi hi. Well, we got another bag here. Pick up the bewildering pack. Oh, we have infernal iron. I didn't realize that. Two cuties at once. Double the cuties for double the fun. Pick up the infernal iron. Hi Ataraxi. Hi. It's a wooden chest over here with a backpack in it. Open that up. Do any of these have armor in them? Leather armor. Can we buy Carlac some fancy looking armor? Who's got fancy looking armor? I so said, can we buy Carlac some fancy looking armor? Yeah, we got money. Alright. We got money. A hot fucking woman. Need Car some fucking fancy clothes? Of course yep. we buying that shit. We pimping her the fuck out of it. Can't pick up too heavy. Pick up. Have a cut. That was an interesting break. Uh, open. Open this. Open this. Oh, there's a bag with even more stuff in it. Oh, she doesn't need the gloves of archery now because she's already has proficiency. Do you have proficiency with bows and short bows? But using a crossbow anyways, never mind. Yeah, I already do anyways. Destitute clothes. Okay. Take this. She's extremely overburdened. That's fine. Okay. Map. Uh. Emerald Grove. We'll buy from the blacksmith there because we want to talk to the infernal guy, anyways. I'd love to. Thanks. Still alive, so that's progress. A 
have got a long road ahead. All right, what now? One sec, I had to just split my inventory a little bit here. Carlac is so overburdened, she can't walk. But yeah, uh, fairly early on, you can go recruit her. Um, I think she's a delight. Still overburdened. Still overburdened. Well, we're just going to keep walking while we're moving stuff back and forth, I suppose. Still. Wow. <clears throat> Was not expecting that. Oh. Should go back, revivify her corpse, and somehow. <laughs> no. Surely they had that. You know, I'm. I think that may well be a thing that can be done. Uh, using charm person and all that. Well, Matt, is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Gale mail plus one, chain mail plus one. Barter. I forgot that you have 150 gold worth of poisoned apples. Guide your path. The soul coins are for Carlac. Need anything else? I haven't used any of, course, of, any of them please, yet, please. Um, but I know that they are specifically the for her. Also, if you talk to this guy more than once, he'll uh, organize it all. <laughs> oh, oops. Yeah, good way to make money, especially if you don't intend on having that character around. Um, So they sell for like 50 gold a piece, I think. Scroll of Gaseous Form. That's a powerful spell. Magic Weapon, Detect Thoughts, Crown of Madness. Don't really care about any of those. Spell, however, 
Arcane Vehemence. Once per short rest, you gain a level 1 spell slot when you land a critical strike with Spell Thief. Yes, I do want that. Also, wow. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, do you ever intend on using poison magic? Poison magic, specifically. Me, no. I'm getting rid of it. Let's see here. Uh, leather armor plus one. Hide armor. No. Nope. Padded armor. No. Nope. He's already got the plus one. Superior pattern. Oh. Scale mail plus one. You take one less. Slashing damage disadvantage on stealth checks. Ring of flinging. I do want that. Ring of throw hard. And then just general other equipment. Scroll of Cloud of Daggers. Scroll of Chromatic Orb. Featherfall. Magic Missile. Charm Person. Bunch of arrows of various types. Twenty-five per arrow. Uh, potions, we're doing fine on. Arrows, we'll be okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. Barter. Thank you. Okay, you. Equip. Very nice. Spell abilities, still there because Ranger Knight. Equip. Magic bow. Very nice. Equip Ring of Throw Hard because throwing pike. Throwing pike. Holy cow. This build. <laughs> I think that does it. And then she'll eventually need to like keep leveling in both those classes it's it's a truly split class it's almost 50 50 down the line but oh wow that's nice Still breathing, despite everything. i think if she puts one or two more ranks into ranger she'll end up getting the ranger's companion for free in addition to the familiar oh that reminds me she has a familiar okay uh cool Thank you. Thank you for humoring me and making a uh, super waifu. Thank you. Where would you like to go next? Are we attacking the goblin encampment? I found a ladder. Where? Over here. <laughs> where? Yeah, let's go look at where here is. Over by Carlac's place. Okay. Oh, I made the mistake of using a portal. I have to warp back to the Blighted Village. Uh... Okay. Uh... Yeah, we just jumped across here. Okay. Scratch, you're still here? Oh, we haven't done a long rest, is why. I love that Carlyle joins the party. I'm just immediately like, here, have all this stuff, because you're awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the second we go up this ladder... Oh, wait, there's going to be... 
Toll collector's key. Okay. Uh, you can also talk to the dead toll collector. Ooh, we should do that. As I go harvesting various grasses. Uh, speak with dude. Wow, she can talk with dead from really far away. <laughs> the corpse regards you like Who are you? Toll collector. And then? <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Where were you heading? Hmm. Why is this? What is happening? All right. How did you die? Jumped to escape. Broken. Broken. Do you have any valuables? Interesting fellow. Sleep. Oh, I already have the key. All right. Yeah, basically, once we go up here, this is going to start uh, an interesting fight. I think we can trade with them beforehand. Saves game. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. Uh, <laughs> and everything else you own. Let's <laughs> see what you have to trade. Yeah. Oh, right. I can't see your screen when this happens. Uh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't got shit. Oh, okay. 840 fucking coins? Fuck off. Wow. His fuck. What is it? His name. Uh, scroll of Revivify. Oh. Uh, that'll be something that we can just learn at level 3. Oh, wait, no, that's yeah. a cleric specific spell. You would have to have a cleric in the party. Hmm. Hey, a soul coin. Time to start looting. Cut it out. It's worse than gnolls out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? At ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. Look. I'll give it a shot. What the heck? Need to read about this one from Ginogu. Okay. Let me know when you want to start some shit. Why are we killing them? These are the paladins that Karlak uh, was being hunted by. They're not actually oh. paladins. Mm. We can talk to him if you want. I don't want to talk to him. Our scouts told us you'd come. The devil's ally. Come to finish us, have you? Oh. Uh. That's right, I'm sending you back Poor to Avarice where you belong. Allied with the first sap she met, who will be so quickly destroyed. Zario will find this all terribly funny. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, very much a demon. Let's see. How do I want to start this fight? Oh, I came in with the wolf. That's unfortunate. Where is my wolf? My wolf is off doing wolf things again. Classic wolf. <laughs> Standing on a dead body. Buddy. You were so far away. Oh, God. This guy has a cool sword. He do. 
Let's see. Let's just let's get stabby shooty. No, don't do that. I don't want to hit you. I'll take out this person instead. Saved. All right. Just <laughs> ran in there? Okay. Oh, I forgot to set her other spell. Dang it. Well. Oh, the ladder got broken. There was a ladder in here? Yeah, it was right next to us. Hmm. Has a spear. Oh, dang! Anders attacking man. Fuck you, Anders. Very Good nice. Her name Elixir is. Elixir of Barkskin. Yeah. Wolf. <laughs> where did my wolf go? What? What is this place? Wolf, where did you go? <gasps> no. Uh. Um. Okay, where is that person that we were? Yeah. We'll run over to here. We will jump. Can't jump on top of the table. We'll just jump over here then. And then we dash, and then we harass this sad little barkskin cleric. Is this also... Oh yeah, I have two spiders now. The other person ran out the door. Scrunch. Bump. Did your idiot mother clothe you? Brutal. Making fun of their outfits. Oh, by my hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pylak is so strong, she can just jump up to the second floor of a building. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but it was not happening. Yeah, she just has really high string. Spider bite. You gonna hide over there? Hold person. And then the right hold person when she wasn't even damage taken. <laughs> The spider. Is there only. Yeah, that one person left. That's it. Okay. Uh, go back upstairs, I guess. And turn. Time for some bloody work. Through the window. Let's go. And then. Syrian Smite. Aww. We have this person so cornered. Like, she can keep healing. It's not gonna help. Just 
It's gonna keep shooting. <laughs> nice. Let's go loot Anders for some armor. Did you see the armor? No, I didn't. Scale mail. Fuck them. Fuck Thoriel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. Valid. These mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Damn right. <sighs> Zariel won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> Damn right. Condor spider was hit for burning. Ladder received condition burning. Oh no, she's burning the place down. Why? Why is she burning this place? Because she's angry. Good mm -hmm. The game just auto saved while she's doing that. <laughs> she's going to town. I have to talk to this body before she cooks it. Is this entire thing gonna be- we're gonna burn to death during this conversation. Who are you? Oh. How did you die? Zariel's root destroyed me. How did you kill a pack of gnolls on your own? The pact. Power. Demonic power seems to be something. What devil did you deal with? Why did you why would you sign a pact with the devil? Power. Based. The spell's power wanes. Sleep now. Can ask no more questions. Who else we want to interview? Corpse too damaged. Good idea, I think. Through the roof. The corpse has Oh, okay. Hmm. Find any neat loot? A whole bunch of food. Well, that'll be useful. For all those long rests. Mm hmm. Broken promises. Strength is indefinitely <laughs> reduced by one. If we can find a cleric, we could do remove curse. Oh. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. I like the look of it. Careful, soldier. <laughs> if I burn any hotter, I might explode. <laughs> Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stuck you in a metal casing. Since I left Avernus, won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close, till I've found a way to calm it down. Hmm. I met someone who might be able to help. A smith who worked in the hells for a time. Well, now. Maybe I could make his acquaintance. A Titan screw or two might let me keep a little calmer. Maybe even manage a pat or bump without burning someone to death. It's been a long time. Let's go find your friend before I blow a gasket. Lead on. 
important things. Old floppy hat. Gubby gubby. Whoa! Just found a full size greatsword. Oh. A bunch of equipment over here. Hello. Some eggs. We have not yet gone into the basement here. Oh, that's apparently not destructible. Gubby gubby, couple gubu, gubba ba 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 ba. Yeah, just a bunch of spoiled food here. Let's That's good. This oh. out. Didn't see Trin. Some basic armor. Oh, right. Uh, scale armor. What am I currently wearing? Chain shirt plus one. Take one less slashing damage. Okay. We found padded armor. What is going on with the tree here? Scale armor. Disadvantage on stealth checks. AC 14. And is considered... Where did it... I keep misplacing it. This tree is messing with me. It's considered medium. So is what I'm wearing. Studded leather, padded armor. Oh, you have um, more studded leather available for Astarian. Well, is an Astarian already wearing the equivalent to that? No, he's wearing padded armor. One, oh. one AC lower. Oh, but that's ugly. <laughs> you can dye it. Nah, that cutie what? needs to look good while he's slaying these fuckers. What about, how about that scale armor? <laughs> that's medium, that'll, that'll, it's not proficient. True. I'm curious. What about, what about demonic slut? <laughs> demonic slut? <laughs> okay, so, hey, I guess. God damn. <laughs> Pop off, queen. Holy. I had to see. <laughs> You're really popping the fuck off today. Just get helmet. Mm. Your hat has a feather in it. When I got, uh... Old hat, or floppy hat, or whatever, did not have a feather. A star in dressing for fashion is absolutely in character. <laughs> <laughs> Reinforced helmet, medium armor. Leather helmet, light armor. Deck saving throws, plus one. Wow. Do not show helmet. Okay, anything else of consequence? Sword of Justice. Right. Great sword. Tears protection, abjuration. Let's take a look. Compare these. 6 to 16, just outright better damage. No reach ability. Even so, that is pretty nice. She doesn't really need reach when she's got spell casting, which reminds me. Uh... Yeah, okay. Misty step, old person. Thunder wave. Mm -hmm. I suppose feather fall. Also, where's that bag of spells? I think that's the one. Yep. 
Hey, ho. Open. Need. Oh, we have no money. I got money. What do you need money for? You have money? I got money. Oh. Uh, it's 50 gold to 100 gold per spell learned. So I'll look at the spells really quick and see if there's any that I actually really want her to know. Blur would be a good one for her to learn. Needs 100 gold for that. We have four Where different scrolls to speak us? with dead. Uh, when you right click on a uh, spell scroll in her in her hand or in her inventory, and if you're a spellcaster, you can learn a spell scroll for a certain amount of gold. So if I just do a right oh. click here, learn spell, need 100 gold to learn. Then why don't you just learn all her scrolls then? That's why I hold on to a bag of scrolls. There you go, there's the money. Oh, you gave me the money? Okay. Uh, already learned Misty Step. See, Invisibility seems like a powerful one. Summon Closet? Wait, we had that? Yeah, we got it from the coffins when we fought the Skellywigs. Oh. Summon a Closet from the Lower Plains. Someone familiar with the form of a Closet that can turn invisible and scare enemies. I wonder how that compares to the spider. Learn spell. Uh, what is this? Blur? Learn spell. Protection from evil and good. Rave and feeblement. Bone chill. Web might be good. Uh, we already had the wolf spider, and once she gets a uh, ranger's companion, it won't be a problem. So I'm going to wait on web. We'll just make certain that she's built for combat. I'm going to split this money in half and give half back to you. Okay. Thank you. Also, mm -hmm. at any point that you want to dig through the scroll bag, uh, let me know. Ooh, mirror image. And Melf's Acid Arrow, that's one. Like, that's a big yes. Um, okay, so back into... Prepared spells. I have to break them all down again. Acid arrow, hold person, blur, misty step. Thunder wave, magic missile. That is all combat spells. We'll drop hold person and use closet because hold person is situational. Or Taldum Scorcher. Fabrizio, do you know the, the story behind the name Melf? Fine familiar. Cheeky closet. How long do you live? Oh, God! Oh my god! The tiny fiend, a closet, wicked creatures <laughs> often used as familiars. One moment you're getting rid. Illy. Your scroll was in an undead's casket. Who were they? The blacksmith, the teacher, the grocer, the baker, little piggies to the butcher. So, your shovel's master now. Fine. This Illy you mentioned, who is that? Master Illy, wonderful. He tricks them, heals them, <laughs> then they die. So sudden, so mysterious. Shovel comes, shovel takes them, then we raise them, make them walk. Necromancer, your kind call him. God, I call him. Huh. What happened to him? Don't know. Don't care. Wait, are you horny for the book? It never shut mm. up. Book this, book that. Blah. You have a way with words. <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell your secret. Illy weak. Illy never finished. 
finish book, but master, master can do it. Read book, conquer book, yes. Unfortunately, I don't get to because uh, Gale won't put it down. The only way for me to get it now is to kill Gale. <laughs> Beefy. Beefy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, what abilities do you have, Shovel? Invisibility. Scare. Lash at a creature to frighten it. For two turns. And four to seven damage on claws. And invisibility. I have a lot on my mind. Very powerful. And, well, in it. Hmm. Take that. So Alright. Bunch of dead gnolls. That one has a spear, but I don't get to look at it, apparently. Uh, I guess let's go in the basement. Curse to put my hands on everything. Oh, that corpse is riper than a Minaurus bog. Apparently, he's been dead for a minute. Who are you? Okay. How did you die? Why were you in the basement? I did. Frightened. Were you alone when you died? Gods abandoned me and vanished. Okay. Somebody paid them. Read. Preparing to abandon post. I remember the goblins were getting closer. This place is full of food and equipment. Where are you? Basement. There's a little trap door in the room that we fought Anders. Uh -huh. More armor. Little sell well. We've gone through mostly everything in this room. We'll need your traps, trap skills for this upcoming stuff. Uh oh, perception fail. Trap. Be cautious. Okay. Trap. Be cautious. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. I'm gonna keep going through the different barrels. Wow, none of those had anything. Do you get experience for disarming traps? Nope. Dang. Potion of invisibility. Blank canvases. Oh. Broken padded armor. Broken club. I wonder if I can combine those with things. Okay, all four of the traps are disarmed. Nice. Finding various blacksmithing equipment in here. Iron ingots and silver ingots. Yeah, I got some ingots as well. There's something to be said about just, like, methodically scanning through a room for every single piece of scrap of items. <laughs> Can't reach. Can't reach. Ah, now we're getting to the fancy ales. Great full of bottles. Watch how you go. A trap. Why are we slowing down? I'm not trying to talk with you right now. 
We can talk in a little while, lady. There's so much to talk about. Can't reach this. Okay, well, we'll head in here, then. Oh, that's a room full of goodies. And even more boxes with bottles in them. Trap. Be caution. This ale is worth good money. My character's having trouble navigating. Light crossbow. Hey there, Yell Connors. Yeah, we're doing pretty well in here. We're doing some gaming, some power looting, some D&D. &D. It's been a blast. Baldur's Gate 3 has been really fun. I hope things have been good on your end too, hun. It's always good to have you drop in. Perception failed. Oh, perception passed. Hot foot, hot foot. I love that she's like honey on purpose. Have a good one, Bucky. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Always we can't a delight. Take the stone chair. <laughs> no, we already have a stone bed in camp. But I want stone chair. I can't reach this. Why not? Nope. What the? Be a star and sit there and stay there. So the trick to this is you just put, put heavy enough things like the boxes over there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ungroup him. I'm the stupidest shit. So, do you want another box? Yeah. You just put this in the chair. Place is full of weapons. All right, so everything is disarmed. Thank you. Have a head. <laughs> uh, gloves of heroism. Grab some shields. A great sword. Grab another great sword. Grab a plus one great axe. Grab a quarter staff. Heavily encumbered. Pick up a gilded chest. Too heavy. Okay. Let's see. There's so many things. Pouch. Open. Currently contains elixir of fire resistance. Take all. Move pouch. Down here. Start shoving all this armor into it. What is that? Broken padded armor. Studded gambeson of cloth and cloth. Good for catching blows, but while almost unbearably sweaty. True. Oh. 
the less glorious part of all this. Oh, does anybody have an alchemy bag? What a charmer. Uh, listen to Cerns. Let's get going. Some to Carla. I wish there was a book bag that would automatically pick up all the readables. But there <laughs> isn't. Well, like, uh, if you put the food bag or the alchemy bag into your inventory, it'll automatically just shove all the things in there. It's really mm -hmm. nice that way. But there's nothing like that for armor or weapons. They don't expect you to do what I'm doing right now. Or maybe they do and they're just punishing me in advance for it. I don't know. <laughs> 80 pound bag. Send a camp. Great Axe plus one. Send a camp. Gloves of Heroism. When you use your channel oath spells. Send a camp. That's a paladin item. Never relevant. Uh, sort by. Type. Open. This is a bag full of weaponry. Send a camp. <laughs> We have a backpack. Start shoving all of the consumable potions and stuff in there. Less visual clutter means more being able to tell what the hell I'm looking at. Mayrina's locket. I don't know what to do about that. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I love the idea of leaving a phase spiderling just out in the middle here. Oh wow, I just found a crate full of potions. Oh heck yeah. Guess I need to dig a little harder through here. Why are we slowing down? I don't know. Because you keep talking to me. Okay, I think that does it for this room. Sorry, and just parked out on that bench, sitting pretty. Here we go. Oh. I think I need to take a short break here because we've been doing this for a little while now. Um, okay. I'm going to refill my tea. And go use the restroom, and I'm going to hit the funny music button, and we'll be back in just a moment.
That whole thing of dysphoria hoodies being a, a thing to break up the body form and all that. In my case, it's dysphoria, dysphoria cardigans. And uh, I put this one on and I realize I need to probably put it to the laundry because it does not get cleaned nearly enough, much like a dysphoria hoodie. Hmm. <laughs> My AC is blasting me right in the face. That's a little much. Uh, roll myself a thing here. I wish it were possible for me to set my character control to, like, for a scene or temporarily over to you. Where are you at? You're over on the bridge. I'm on the bridge. I'm Doing waiting. some cleanup. Yeah, I already looted everything. Okay. Uh, somebody named Buckle? Also, Tactical View tells me there's... Oh, what is this? Traveler's Guide. Okay. This person's name is Buckle. Let's go talk to them. Oh, okay. Uh, multiplayer. Bop. Bop. Apply. Each player must have at least one avatar assigned. Oh, well, cancel. <laughs> I just wanted to roll my thing. Hey, hi, hello. Believe you... Yes, you were asked a question. I don't remember what. Let me think. Uh, oh, do you know the origin of the name Melp? Also, I need to remove my be right back thing. So, Melf wasn't supposed to be the character's name. Uh, it just got, ended up getting put in the spot where that would be on the character's character card. 
back when everything was done on index cards instead of sheets. And uh, Gygax's son, I believe, was the one that had made a male M dot L. And Gygax, uh, thinking that was where the was the name because it's where it was supposed to be according to his standardization at the time. Just read it as Mel, and that became the character's name. All right, let me OBS, OBS, please, please OBS. Could you, could you work with me, please? No, that's transparent dog. I don't want to be a ghost. There we go. Full bloom dog. Uh, I would like to still roll a thing if you can give me just a moment anyways, though. You're good. Cool. Nop. Yeah, I love some of the names of the early characters. So, like, uh, Mordenkainen. Mordenkainen's faithful watchhand. Or watchhound. Uh, let's see here. Tensor. Tensor's magic disc. Or Tensor's floating disc, depending on what you're looking at. Bigby. Bigby's magic hand and crushing fist. Uh... All these spells, all these named spells, are from characters whose wisdom was so high that, well, intelligence and wisdom were so high that on leveling up, they ended up rolling the max number of spells that could be learned. And in first edition, before like AD and D had been done by a group of people, uh. There were only so many spells that Gygax could think of, and after a while, as a DM, you have to like come to the decision of, like, all right, we're going to have to rely on somebody else's creativity. Here are the limitations and the standards and everything else. Think of a thing. And if you can think of a thing and I can balance it, it becomes part of the game. And that's, that's the origin of homebrew. Um, and so, yeah, there were these characters that, like, at level three or four, because they had plus eight spells learned per level, they filled out the entire, like, 18 to 24 spells within the first few levels. And after that, you'd have a character that knows how to do, like, Acid Spray, knows how to do Burning Hands, knows how to do Shocking Touch, knows how to do Firebolt. So you start creating new spells based on, like, the things that they already know and uh, things that they, they situationally would need and would attempt to craft and create. This is also how... Uh, homebrew magic can be done in any given D&D setting for any DM, but uh, note that balancing must occur or you will break campaigns. It also helps to have... Oh, I forgot I had the music playing. It also helps to have players that are aware that this is a limitation of the fact that it is a live fire thing and that doing hot fixes on your tabletop campaign can upset some people sometimes when... They have an ability for one session, and then they don't for the next, because we've decided, oh, hey, that didn't work out well. You're able to, like, completely bypass everything that we've got set up here. We're going to need to kind of change that for story purposes. Or whatever the case may be. You usually don't want to do something that leads to you having to have that conversation in the first place. This is Major Tom, Major Tom. You really made the ring. And the bankers want to know whose shirt you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in the most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today. For here am I floating in my tin can. Above the world. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. Alright, joint rolled. We're ready to go. 
Also, jazzy saxophone outro. Perfect time to light a joint. I don't want to interrupt because it's such a good song, but like... I don't think that this uh, this artist actually removed the, the background music well enough for that to, to not get me in trouble, so we're just going to pull that. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Alrighty, we're going. Is Astario still sitting on the chair downstairs? Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Short rest. Yeah, I noticed there was only three people on the bridge. And a weird little imp. Alright. He's I still on his way. Yeah, he's on his way. He still needs to catch up. <laughs> Look at him Naruto run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so let's let's save. And I would also recommend that we actually long rest again. Because we're about to get into oh, yet another fine. We're about to get into an interaction. I, I saved, so it's no big deal. Uh where I spent four hours on this fight. Just as a heads up. <laughs> Four hours? Four hours, because I kept dying and having to reload, because once you get in there, you can't leave. Get Lupus over here. Played an investigation campaign where you had a literal fantasy three-letter three agency helping you. None of them could talk about it because they were under a Gaius, and it's an internal investigation. It's a really fun implementation of that spell in a world-building sense. Oh, I love using Gaius that way. I love using Ceremony, like uh, this, the clerical spell Ceremony as written in Unearthed Arcana 2nd Edition allows you to place people on a Gaius or a quest without it being a Gaius, because it's, it's up against their honor instead of their wisdom or their spirit. So their attitude is what defines whether or not they're actually going to try and undertake the quest that you place them under. And ceremony of like rite of passage is a really fun one to mess with that way. So there is so many stuff. Okay, uh, these, oh, these poor little hyenas. Do you want me to talk to the hyenas? Sure. Okay, I'll I'll use animal speak. Can you talk to the oh, the one that's jumping? No, I already got stuck in the dialogue. Oh no. Let's see what happens if I try and talk. Go away, or you will become new flesh. I will oh. make you new flesh. Oh. Okay. What does becoming new flesh mean? Feed the beast. Feed the butcher. Feed the butcher? Grow inside us. Better flesh. Thinking flesh. Now. Leave. Okay. Mm, oh, I can talk to this person too. Before they get burned. What happened to you? Where were you heading? Ooh, is a secret hide? Oh no! Oh, um, I hope. Okay. Well, hi. my wolf is still. Uh, where's the party? The wolf is hanging out with Scratch. Actually, wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> Oh, oh my. My wolf is in the entirely wrong place. Okay. Yeah, go, go attack. End time. Actually, if we don't kill the bloated hyenas, they'll turn into gnolls and we'll get more experience. So it's up to you on that one. 
Shabam. I want to attack him. I cannot attack him. Did you use dash? Or I guess no. I gotta use dash now. It told me I could attack him. Oh. Maybe just because Saris is in the way. Yeah, I guess this gives us an opportunity to, like, get around all of them. Should I give, um, Karlak a level in the... I need to look at the the cantrips. There might be an ability to steal wizard cantrips through a feat. Also, are we stuck mm -hmm. on a turn here? What's going on? So oh, Karlak. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that we were waiting on her. You're good. Let's use Tears Protection. And... Friends. Let's target... Target can't be an enemy. Oh, okay. Cannot target cells. So, Shocking Touch can no longer be cast as a preparatory spell. Interesting. I'm learning things as, uh, as a DM in this edition. Until end of turn. Okay. I don't want to attack anything because Karla can one-shot anything she hits in this area. We need to wait until mm -hmm. they explode. So I'm going to get back because Ranger in turn. Yep, there we go. Ugh, they start out being able to bite. That's messed up. So the god yeah, of the hyenas bad. is the butcher? Like, are we talking about the butcher of sanctuary? Mm-hmm. Whoa, what? That's an entire pack of gnolls that I wasn't even aware of. Okay, hello. Yeah, they this... came in. I didn't even know they were there. I killed them last time on my own. This is going to be really funny when it gets to Karlax's turn. I'm going to Misty Step behind them and then use the uh, Thunder Wave to push them all off the cliff. Sluggardly. What poison did you just use? Uh, just a 1d4 poison. Hmm. Aha! That's it. I assure you, you have enough movement. I don't have to suffice. I hope that's close enough.
it's not. But we'll still, well, let's see here. Okay, that does not actually increase the uh, radius. That would have been fun. But... You, get down there. <laughs> oh, damn. Thunder Wave is such a fun skill. <laughs> it's Power Shove. Thunderwave is really funny in cavernous regions. Yes, it is. <laughs> I likes me Thunderwave. Escaping wounds. You'll be fine, I'm certain. Now, get back. Aw. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. You. Also. Get down. Go down. That would use it the free action. That would use it the free action. Walk up here instead. And end turn. No shovel. Shovel be fine. Yikes. What? Oh, wow. Yo! <laughs> um, all of my plans kind of hinged on... Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad I saved. <laughs> this might be a party wipe. We'll carry it through, but damn. Thank you. Heck yeah. Harlak wasn't even injured. She just got max rolled. That doesn't hit you, right? Yeah, right so there. much blood here. Was that ice knife? Oh, mm -hmm. ice arrow. No, it's ice knife. Wait, what? Oh, you have scrolls. Okay. No, I am a. Uh... What is it called? You're a fighter Arcane magic user? Trickster. Oh! I'm an arcane trickster. This guy's got a blessing. Arcane on. rogue. Can't use bonus action the soul mound. For two if you turns. can kill the archer on the um hill, he goes next. This one? I guess so does the hyena next to you. Uh the one that's in your range. On the little How much three. health does a Starion have? Okay. Astarian's fine. 
Oh, I can't use any of my... Okay. I can chuck a slime bomb. These three. <laughs> the hain is close to dead. Yeah. There we go. I'm worried about the hunters because they're triple shot. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyways, we should uh, consider taking on the gnolls first and then going after the hyenas. Gnolls are scary. They use pack tactics, like me. Nice shot. That was a bite. Okay, so that gets all of them. Yep. Drink a potion. Oh, oh no. Erm. Erm. Three arrows to the face! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't pick you up? What the? Oh no, it does. Okay, we're good. Time to press ahead. Oh, nice. Thank you. Heck yeah. If you had a focus ability, it's screwed up now. Drink this. Run over here. <laughs> Good God! Oh, I died. Okay. Yep. Uh, I failed. I failed all three of my saving throws. What the fuck? I'm going to shoot. Okay. Okay. But what? Are you dead? Yeah, oh, I'm you're dead. dead. Uh, revivify. Um, a spell. This lady. There you go. Long rest. <laughs> All you've seen is the Underdark for three stinking moons. Crave the sun. They really hit that 15. Hey there, Unearthed Unusual. I got very distracted by tactics and half of our party nearly wiping there. <laughs> Most of our party wiping there. Holy cow. Ah, woo! That was something. Uh... Sylvan started a conversation. What can I do for you? Nothing. <laughs> Should I start the uh, story time with Carlock? Uh, sure. All right. Oh, there's also a conversation to be had with Will. Mm -hmm. Okay. So not only do you have this thing in your chest, but it's burning up. That's the short of it. Bloody thing's been in overdrive since I left Avernus. What does it do to you? Gives me energy. Power. 
But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Seeing the little vents actually pushing flame is wild. You must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. And yeah. Days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. Okay. Why are we slowing down? Now that those paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Gotta be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'd like to hear about you, how you ended up in the Blood War. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay Succeeded alive. performance. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Oh, go on then. Tell him. I'll meet out the best ones, bit by bit, so you always have a reason to keep me around. Clever, right? <laughs> Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Mm. Hey, Dan. Thank Hi, you Dan. for the resubscription. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for my favorite sound. The sound that gives me all the good feels. Which is exactly why I made that noise. Uh, thank you so much. How's your night going? Well, your day. Your night? Your day. I don't know anymore. You have an interesting schedule as it is. Even being on the other side of the orb. Just got home. Yeah, that, that much I understand. Okay, what have you been doing over here? Just playing the guitar behind me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> With haste. Something's on my mind. We're doing good. Um, doing some looting. Karlak's all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Just got Karlak. Turned her into the most awesome spellcaster ranger combo. Okay, resummon. Well, here. Resummon. Familiar. Here. Resummon. Closet. I'm sorry. Give me just a moment. I just had a very, very large spider... Uh, run across my keyboard. Mm -hmm. Makes me pretty uncomfortable. 
I'm glad that I resummoned Shovel. I do not know where that spider went, but I feel like it went into my key. That's the part that's getting to me. I don't know where that spider went. It was there and then it wasn't. And usually I'm better about tracking movement. But I was also distracted by game. Uh, I hate having to de to like have active defenses up against spiders. Also, what's up with this? You have a cat, but only for a turn? What is that from? It's a minor illusion. Oh. Yeah. You just summon shadow cats. Very well. Yep. Never a dull moment. All right. Uh, are you ready for sleep? Yeah. Okay. Long rest. One night I hit the auto select for the the long rest, and it shows a hundred and thirty food. Oh my. They just decided they wanted to have a feast, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to argue with that. You've been working hard. Scratch is here! Speak with animals. Or do you want to go have a non-speaking interaction first? <laughs> Scratch. Come hither. Little puppy. Bark, bark. Uh, pet him. Everybody approves me petting him. Mm-hmm. Oh, little puppy, little puppy, yes, oh my goodness. I leave. Goodbye. I should speak up. Hope you're keeping well, friend. <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Have as our pets. Everyone approves. <laughs> the main character makes such a weird face when they're petting the dog. <laughs> well met. Okay. You had a highlight. I guess I should talk to Shadowheart. What's up, wingman? Kalek's temper is a sight. Ah, you don't need Shadowheart to be your wingman no more. That rage will burn her right out. Um, last night in my solo play, I had an interaction between the three wing the uh, between Kalek and Shadowheart, my character. It was it was fun. Okay, I think I'm set for the day. I mean, I can put books away, I guess. That's a good idea. Where's the book chest? Let me go over there. The... Yes, you can recruit the, the puppy. Yeah, if you use um, speak with animals, you can have like semi-meaningful conversations sometimes with Scratch. So many things. Oh, the guy from the Druid place. Uh, Will. Yes, Will is also recruitable. Like, if you're cautious about the way you interact with the characters, you can kind of grab the first five almost immediately and just have them be a part of your camp to swap out as needed. And I think that's on purpose from the, the developer standpoint. So that you're able to adaptively... The consequences of your actions. Yeah. Yeah. I think Will has a thing to say to you, not me. Hmm, maybe. 
Well, what the fuck do you want, Buckaroo? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Oh, he really does. Wow. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Three of them are dead in your campaign. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to head out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I can just throw things on the ground this way. I love it. I can litter the camp. <laughs> just chuck things. Hell yeah. Here's a letter from Ethel. Uh, this to the pile. Okay. You Need don't camp. need... Shadow Heart as a wingman in this campaign. There's a potion in your backpack that I brewed for you. Thank you. You brewed it just for me. Mm-hmm. As per my last letter, I recommend reading these at some point. They're fun. It's a bunch of mangled corpses. Mm-hmm. They're full of meat. Totally forgot about the fire wine barrel. Mm. Thank you for the reminder. Carlac, go pick that up. Oh. Gimme. <laughs> the second seal has been broken. What is the second seal in this case? Invalid target. Corpse too damaged. I can... Ooh. Ah, oh, I can't talk to the knoll. The hmm. These hunters have anything? Carnelian ring, nice. What's hiding here? Who's using so many channel points in the poll? That's not in my chat. I have hit the wrong button. Who is this person? Mangled corpse. Invalid target. Rib cage. Empty. Viscera. Has a bottle on it. Pile of bones. Oh, this is where I found the 10 pound leg. <laughs> more ways room for more? Okay, gotta be careful about going up this way because this will set off the uh, next encounter in that fight if we go too much further. Mm. I'll just save real quick in case we accidentally do. I'm Zoot. Imagine your whole life to be labeled Mangled Corpse. Living your whole life. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. That's all that's left of you. All that anyone remembers. That one time that you were a Mangled Corpse. Lessons for Sensible Living. Cities and how to survive them. Well, I don't think they survived. There is <laughs> beer to be had inside that. Well, they're not at uh, the city mm. anymore, so... Yeah, true. I like how most of the things in the book say stuff like, uh, don't go to the city in the first place. Don't leave your house. <laughs> Pick up burlap sack. Oh. Uh, pick up burlap sack. Wahahaha. Gale no longer has sage. Okay, this is also another whole separate encounter, uh, the inn that you're heading to. Big story stuff. Hmm.
Hmm. I started a conversation. Why is it not giving me the option of viewing the conversation? There we go. I just watched you walk up to me. <laughs> uh, Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face them. That was having here. Drow and goblin slaughtered the lot. <laughs> Good mingled corpse one day. Okay. Oh, all right. Fine, I'll go you can talk to all. Speak with them. Should yeah, I'll go talk to this actual corpse right in front of you. How about that? The corpse has nothing to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sun's too bright. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Zarin. Where are you from? From Shah's before the absolute. What was your profession? Male. Oh, right. Males in the drow culture don't have professions. They're just males. How did you die? Archer. Roof. Should have seen. Why were you here? Spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Some nice looking armor. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Krug Hunter. Did you leave any survivors? Slaves. Good. Raid. Why did you target the end? Kidnap the Duke for the absolute. Was your mission successful? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Why were you after the Duke? Absolute. Once yeah, that was a bad question. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I take it you're just generally looting as you're going. Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. Well, I want to trade with you. Oh, you ain't got nothing. Okay. Uh, uh, if you decide to go upstairs, be careful what door you open. You'll start an encounter where the whole building burns down. Oh my. <laughs> well, I failed to open the door. Regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Mirrorless farmer. Why were you at the end? From Eldergard, traveling, sister's wedding. How did you die? Door stuck. Oh. 
Where's Benrin? Inside room, top floor. Okay. See yeah, anywhere that you see like a uh, barricaded or broken door. Can anyone hear me? Oh, no way. Please. Hmm. <laughs> what are you entering turn based oh, yeah. mode with? Hurry! Get this thing off me. Uh Raise yourself to lift the wreckage. Can I change characters? Carlock is stronger. Oh. I guess I vote here. I vote with myself. All right. Oh no. Can I be inspired? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Continue. Almost. Oh, I just imagine it crushing him again. Yeah. Uh. Every time I get here, he's already completely roasted. Oh. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. Uh, follow me. Did he just? Okay. So, building's on fire, and it's going to be consumed as uh with with each turn there's mm -hmm. there's a hammer in the back of the room i'm gonna send carlock in there uh can she path is blocked okay shovel can you attack the door yes you can Okay, my concern is, once this happens, everything might explode. Which is why uh, I had Sarah's pick up a water barrel as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody might get blown back as soon as I open this door. Uh, would you like me to wait for you to be able to situate yourself closer? Now nah, you're good. The house is burning down. Hurry the fuck up. Get that motherfucker out of there. Alright. This is going to be a challenge. Dog. Attack door. Wait, two damage, dog? Spider. Attack door. One <laughs> damage. Yeah. <laughs> you all suck. Flourish the door. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Disadvantage. Target too close. I don't care. Run in here. We're gonna do an official Where are you document. Going inside? Uh, there's a magic hammer in here. Ah. Uh. Okay. Magic hammer of hammering. Yeah, also this document. Whoa, I just watched myself lag out real bad. Uh, this document here is mm -hmm. a written testimony from basically the uh, the private mercenary but guard group, the, the fists. 
they basically patrol up and down the the various highways around Baldur's Gate and the surrounding kingdoms, and in return get a lot of of governmental backing and money for it. Um, mm -hmm. So they're considered a trustworthy source. And they're talking about something going on with the Mind Flayers, and that they're trying to suppress the information, but they also copied the documentation and sent it out to the other guard captains. So now we have a copy of that. Hmm. Certified evidence. Well, we're going to as soon as my turn comes back around. Hey, Carlac. That way, and chill. Benrin. Benrin's still knocked out. Shovel. Shovel, cancel and turn and go that way. Carlac. Can you get in here yet? Kind of. Dash, dash. Run in here. Increase AC by two. It's not going to help in this situation. End turn. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Who else? End turn. End turn. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. End turn. Environmental turn. Everything burns a little more. Mm. Oh god, that's really bad. Uh, throw. Item. Drop. So we're here. Switch to the top view. This is terrible. So we're here. Good. Room is wet. We want this. Um. Um. Open backpack. Wait, no. She already has fire resist. I don't need to worry about putting it on her. Although a potion of speed. Nah, she doesn't need it. She can just go. Run! Yep, yep. Uh, dash. Oh, it's a gilded chest to begin with. I didn't realize that. Zero. Medium toughness. So... I must have gotten here way after the room burnt before, or something... That's weird. Mm. Since it's a plus two weapon, or plus one, it's a plus one or a plus two. Regardless, when I keep finding it, room's burnt. And like, I, I try to put out the room, but it, it keeps burning, it's like glitched out in my interaction. And there's just a pile of rubble here where, and then there's this hammer laying on the ground. Mm hmm. Carlac does not have. Uh, actually, no, she does have fairly decent dexterity. Let's get going. Can I? No. Okay. So this would have been the other reason to have you is to have you run in with a fire resist potion and pick the lock on this. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Can you pick, pick it up? The chest? Oh, I didn't even yeah. think about that. Yeah, she absolutely could. Carlac, steal the chest. <laughs> what about the chest that's like in the fire? I think this one's not even locked. Yeah, it's just money. Hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else you could loot? Grab, oh. snag. Benrin is up. Get him out of here. Hell yeah. 
Uh, I mean, like, now I'm, like, kind of curious. It's your porridge, household prayer, book, bedroll. Wait, what happened to Carlac? Electrocuted. And fire damage. Why is she being electrocuted? Do not fall with a fire wine barrel in your hand. Where's where's the fancy gilded chest? Send to camp. If that's the thing that was electrocuting her, get it off. Uh, wooden chest empty. Extracts. The rule of three. A mirror. I mean, we'll have her check over here in turn. Okay. The wolf can try and bust out one of these doors. Can't get there yet. Spider. Spider help. Poison that door. Carlac um, is blind and being electrocuted still. But can Misty step out of here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What next? Ah! I don't know what the hell's electrocuting her. Not enough movement. You're right there. What? <clears throat> Magic object and water steam, I'm guessing? I don't know. Well-built rubble. Attack door. Okay, attack door. Get out. Uh, the paintings here are also another good source of money. Counselor Floric is still alive? Yeah. Holy. Yeah, nobody was alive when I got here in my previous run. I'm gonna... All right. what now? Chain of Command. I don't know, lady. Environmental turn. Building continues to burn. Concentration broken. Tears protection. Parlac. No, no, no. Saris. Uh, can't see through the smoke in here. Visibility is minimal. Dash instead. Run. Okay, you made it in there. Good. Hey, good looking. Uh... 
Carlac lost condition burning. Apparently, Carlac was on fire. <laughs> the spider just jumped through the door. <laughs> Shovel. Oh, never mind. You got it. All right. Did you talk to that person and get get them out of here? Yeah. Good. Uh, tempted to break the floor out. Trap. Still alive. So that's progress. Uh, dash. Who died? No one died. We just gained 20 experience for somebody dying. No, we gained experience for her getting out safely. Oh, nice. Uh... There's dialogue between a Starian and the Counselor because I left a Starian outside. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start getting the party out of here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, lady! Yeah, no, we're going this way. What are you doing? There's like fire... Oh, wow. That is such a different interaction from how uh, I got through all that. <laughs> do? Uh, do you want to listen into the dialogue? Yes, let me organize myself a little bit. There's a short rest. Oh, can't. May I trust you'll see it through? Oh, why? Uh, so basically, she went on to say, like, oh, people are dead, wah, wah, wah. Um, <laughs> but there's still one person that's captive. I need you to save them. Oh. Um, do we want to go save them? I, I guess so. We're trying right. to lean towards chaotic good, it seems. Sometimes I'll travel we eat west to rescue Draven Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. Okay, so that's like way later. And join you when I can. Fist, <laughs> work. Huh. All right. Oh, we learned the Grand Duke Drow taken westward. You receive. So what the fuck? What'd you get? Not anything yet. I can choose what I want. Ooh, I'm curious. It's the Sparky Points, a rare spear okay. with the electric bud, blood. When the wielder deals damage using this weapon, they gain two lightning charges. Ooh. Uh, like and that. that is all three of the things. There's the Jolt Shooter, which is a longbow. Okay. Um, the Sparky Points, I think it's a spear. 
Oh no, it's a trident. Okay, trident, longbow, and quarterstaff, and they all have the same thing. Okay, I'm thinking I'd... longbow. I'm thinking longbow. We have multiple characters in the party. Jolt shooter goes hard. We also still have the returning pike as a throwing weapon, which mm -hmm, I need to mm -hmm. remember on my own. Also, have a fire wine barrel. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I managed to snag that before the place burned. Yeah, so I don't know who you want to give the longbow to, but that's... Uh, yeah. You need uh you need an enchanted longbow still. I have a plus one longbow. I'll take the further enchantment with the, the sparkiness if you wanna uh, I can't wear longbows. You're already equipping one. Uh, Astarian is. Oh yeah, Astarian can, yeah. Well, here, you take you take this one and give me or give Astarian yours. Alright. What? Is that one? The Jolt Shooter Longbow. It's actually not a plus one weapon. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious as to what the uh, lightning charges do, so I'm going to go with that. I believe it adds damage nice. uh, to your next hit. Oh, Good. There's, there's a lady you can raise from the dead over here. Oh, there's a few around the area. There's an extremely high level dungeon lifelessly. Uh for for our current level. If we go fit, uh, like do the goblin camp, we can get enough like mob experience in that area a little bit at a time to probably get us to the next level, which will let us try to take on the, the dungeon underneath this place. Mm-hmm. Ow. Who are you? Godland Marilla. Sleight of hand. What happened to the Duke? The corpse remains silent. She doesn't know. Oh. Oh. Apparently the flaming fist doesn't. What? <laughs> what? I tried pickpocketing her health potion. She got very, very upset with, uh. And then Shovel says it's fisting time. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> well, here. We can run away. Oh, oh or <laughs> you could just attack her. She will now be prone for 10 turns, so we can run oh. away. Okay, let's run away then. Um. Yes. No uh, dash. Continue running. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Dash. And turn. Damn, the spider can jump far. And then continue running. Wow, it can go really far. Wait, why is she back up? She saved against Natasha's laughter. And you oh. didn't you didn't run. I, I did with uh, my main character. Yeah, but you would have to run to the... Ev this is still viewed as a hostile action, what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I have to cast it and then run away. But they're pro it says prone for 10 turns. What happened to those 10 turns? The 10 turns is how long it can last, but she gets to make a saving throw every turn. Oh...
It's A silly creature cannot flee. Still, where are you going? We're going through the gate and under. Okay. My wolf is being very silly. <laughs> Shovel. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> uh, thank you for casting that again. Covered. <laughs> Flea combat. Yes. Seraphs. Lee Combat. Yes. Summon Wolf. Okay. Here. Okay, now you just gotta get your spider and shovel out. This is spider. And we shovel. Alright. We got everybody else. Can't give up now. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Let's let's do a rest. I forgot that you have that ability. Very nice. Very nice. Got some interesting things out of all that. Do you want to go slay some goblins? Uh, I want to pass out. I'm tired as heck. <laughs> Alrighty, hun. That makes total sense. Wait. I hmm. no longer am missing one, uh... Oh, hey! One strength! Good. Maybe because I died. <laughs> Maybe I fucking died. That was what broke the curse, was death. Death itself. Uh... I don't think it's level 12, I think it's 17. Most character classes cap at 17 and then gain plus 2... Dying does break curses in this game. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Scratch says, ha! Alright. That's fun. We're gonna save the game. Remove curses with <laughs> this one weird trick. The Grim Reaper <laughs> hates it. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, I think I'll switch over to my single-player campaign, then. Wow. So I'm still feeling stabby. Alrighty, Sandy. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. This was an absolute blast. It was lovely to no have problem. you. We'll have to no play problem. again soon. No you enjoy the rest of your stream. However, I'm going to bed, because I'm tired. Tired as heck, I tell you. <laughs> Have a good sleep, cutie. Mwah. Mwah. All right. <laughs> now, what was I up to here? I got real sleepy when I was playing earlier with this this party. I'm still very confused. Okay, I'm still very confused by uh, why my wolf has a helmet now. I'm wondering if just this is one of those um, what is it, uh, like mobile game situations where as you as you level up, your wolf levels up, and it gets armor for no readily apparent reason. <laughs> Once it has enough hit die, it's just covered in 
plate armor. Oh, that's such a nice bow. When did I get that? Oh, that's Harold. That's a new bow. That's why. Excellent choice. And now that I know that I could completely swap Gale out for somebody else that's more effective in combat, and I can change up Carlac, because I gave her, like, a bunch more ranks in Barbarian, and I can I could completely rebuild her to be able to use the armor. I think I'm going to do exactly that. Where's Withering? Let's ride. There's Withering. Level 65 wolf versus level 1 pup. Exactly. <laughs> ah, another. Thy name Gale Sweet. Recorded. I like his story. I, I like the idea of a uh, of character with basically magical Tony Stark going on. Um, but he, he got weirdly territorial, and I'm really not enjoying this like mononormative style of storytelling that they've decided to go with when inferring that you could be Polly. That gets to me. Okay, can you help me change my class? Thank you. You will start as a ranger. <laughs> a ranger knight with beast tamer. And we're going to really mess up these abilities. Ooh, wait a sec. How did I manage that? Huh? Neither of these seems correct. Hold on, clear. Yeah, sure. Charisma is a dumb stat because it doesn't matter in this case. We're going to be using magic to, to reinforce everything. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Confirm. Time to power level. <clears throat> Add class. Wizard. Spells. In this case, leap, ice, orb, hand. Prep spells. Don't worry about it. Except. Evocation. None of these really matter. Fog cloud, shield, prep spells, same as before. Tier two spells. What is it actually? Let's see here. Misty step. Flaming Sphere would be funny. Hold Person is kind of necessary. Because we don't have it in the party otherwise. Except... Gained a cantrip and two spells. But it wouldn't be anything that I would actually want.
or do ranger instead. Um, but if you do this, and then the next time we level up, we hit the tier 3 spells for her. Let's do that. Ranger Knight base for the armor, and then we'll start doing the Ranger Companion. Since we already have a high-level Ranger in the party, we're mainly doing the Ranger just to get that armor bonus. And the, uh, the Dex and Archery proficiencies. Okay, so cantrips. Poison spray is a cantrip. Yeah, sure. That sounds fun. Blair. I guess. Ooh, invisibility is also a good one. Shatter. And a new feat. From the cleric. From bard. From druids. From sorcerers. From warlock. So it's none of those. Where is that other one? Polearm Master. Opportunity attacks when a target comes within range. Yeah. But you're using a greatsword now, aren't you? Aren't you? I don't remember. Let's back out for a second, take a look at our equipment. Oh, great hammer was jump proficiency. When you dash, you gain wrath. Gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded. Swire C shoes, monster slayer glaive. Then those over. You look terrible that way. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath. Sure, try that out. Equip. Actually, speedy light. When dashes, you gain three lightning charges. That sounds much better. Equip that. This looks so weird on you. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Okay. So that gives me a better idea. I don't want to like lock into a specific weapon type. Could blind things in the Underdark with Dancing Lights, that would be interesting. Many things are immune to poison, but not a lot to Shocking Grasp. Which reminds me, now that we have Shocking Grasp as a cantrip, we could look into getting that. Hey, now we're thinking. Okay. So, Mel's Acid Arrow, Shatter. Or do we want Blur and Shatter? Disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay, where's that? Is it Warcaster? Reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee range. 
Yes. Gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell as well. So for the... Okay, 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 that makes more sense. And just to be sure, Spell Sniper, learn a cantrip, number you need to roll a critical hit while using it, it is reduced. Ooh. This effect can stack. Conjure two beams of crackling energy. Already a ranger. Already a ranger. Think about it. Multi-targeting, though. Cantrip multi-targeting, but cantrip multi-targeting. Sharpshooter, range weapons attack. Nope. Sentinel. Uh, nope. Savage. Nope. Roll your damaged dice twice. Hmm. With the bow, that could be handy. With the greatsword, that could be extra handy. Beep. <laughs> Let's see here. I like the idea that smell spell sniper taking advantage of the extremely high int for the plus to spell damage. I think that'll be it. Yeah, we'll we'll do Eldritch Blast. We'll try that one out. I've heard it's nice. Multi-targeting. <clears throat> okay. I really like the way that I just built her in that other campaign. I'm like, I, I just want that now. It's so much better than what I ended up accidentally doing previously. Amulet of Misty Step. What are you currently equipped with? Beastmaster. What are we about to do that I had Beastmaster equipped? Save. Overwrite. Yes. Uh, everybody's got their spells for the day. Oh, we do not. I almost... Ready for you. Yeah, that could have sucked. Okay. Ice knife is pretty nice. Leap is great when it's needed, so we'll do that. The problem is it takes four people to cast. Four four uses. Okay. Now we overwrite that save. Oh, that's what I was about to do. Use the mechanical key. So now we can use this. Let's see where it takes us. Ooh. I'm seeing. Hey there, Milky Taro. My face protects me. You have my attention. Well, we have like none of our summons.
<laughs> oh, is it that time? Is it that time? I have... Oh. It is not that time. It is past that time. We're past that time by 20 minutes. Cheers, folks. Smonk, 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 smonk. Smonk, smonk. I will roll a thing. Oh, wait, no, I have a thing. I don't need to roll a thing. I'll roll another thing while I have a thing. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Unearthed Unusual. Appreciate you. Oh, actually, I'm going to turn my silly music on while I'm doing this. This one. <laughs> Also, I want to point out, thank you so much to everybody that has uh, been showing some support over on the YouTube as well. Um, my my VOD channel is actually getting some traction, and I super appreciate everybody that's like taking some time to go watch those. So that's awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I have no idea. Uh oh, I have no idea how I'm going to handle things once we um, get to where I'm caught up, like. I think I'm just going to have to leave the VODs a week behind on purpose and then have two days out of the week that I'm simply not doing an update uh, on the days that I have off. Which gives me time to do like the whole professional development and all that as well, but I'm still figuring it out. Still getting that life balance. Um, but I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Because I couldn't do this without your support. I really couldn't. Uh, it has been through just just the cheers and the telling me like hey this is this is neat or hey i like this that has given me the direction i need uh to keep making fun stuff for everybody to watch keep finding new things to talk about or old things in some cases like with DD here uh i need to regrind one sec Also need to take a trip over to the dispensary tomorrow. <laughs> uh, let's see. So now that we're in the Underdark, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too happy about the idea of spending I don't even know how many long rests in the Underdark. But Fab was saying at least three, and knowing how long I tend to spend my, just like digging around through boxes and stuff, I'm gonna be there a while. Ooh. I love this song, it gets me all jazzed up. It's funny that after all this time, like this little playlist has become my theme music that is recognizably me, even though, like. It's not, it's not attributed to me. But like, having it as my start, start music for a hundred episodes has uh, certainly made a difference there. And it's funny, I used to have a theme song. I actually paid Monster Cat for it. Back and Forth by Haywire. Uh, I only used like a seven second clip of it for my intro reel. Okay. Back to looting and shooting. We're we're playing a looter shooter now. Don't give me trouble now. Hell yeah. Pair of short swords and a dagger. My hope is that I'll find something down here that'll lead to them not wanting to torch the place from above. But it seems like they're going to torch the place from above. Trap. Be cautious. All the pluses that I have make it so that I don't even think about, like, can I do this or not?
I just do it. And if I can't, ooh, false life and speak with the dead. Uh, if I can't, I just spend more lockpicks. Like, it's not... If it's trapped, I'll get healed. What, why did you get behind the crate to... <laughs> Alright, got some nice stuff in here. Oh, jeez. What is happening? Okay. Another chest? Oh no. This is what I meant about the lockpicks though. Like, I have 30 of them, and I'm going to find more as I'm going about this, so... Yeah, I don't think this elevator is going to work again, folks. Oh, sh really? Hmm. Did everybody leave? Yeah, I'm gonna turn all these off. Why do I get the feeling that this glitched out and is qualified as story exploded? Oh. Nope. But it's about to. <laughs> what if I did? Also, hmm. You're not getting out. Oh, I was hoping that would deal damage to the ladder. Indeed. In fact... Oh. 
Seventy-five percent because of the okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be funny. But it'd probably be more effective to just bless, bless, bless. Uh, nobody's hurt just yet. Just situate yourself over here and turn. Spider. This takes us up to. Ah, there is somebody there. So, yeah, head over this way. Okay. Gale. Gale has the big magics, but they're currently unavailable. In the meantime. Target is too far. Well, start shooting down there instead. Miss. In turn. Crowd. Not enough movement. And turn. <laughs> Load up Sacred munitions Hail thorns Too many things there Target outside normal range But that one's not In turn. Everybody missing. <laughs> See, it's not even like ha having all these spiders has made it so unfair to the enemy AI because they get they get so tied up trying to take out the spiders. And I could just kind of freely choose who I want to uh, go attack. Like, no mercy. Critical mit 85% you still missed. RNA, can you jump that high? No, but you can jump over to here. Okay. Well, web this area. What? Oh, oh, you can web a torch. I didn't even think of that before. That's brilliant. 85. 85 with fire. Do it. No survivors. Doing what he can. Still not gonna make it. Not hiding like that. 
14 damage per shot. I don't know what's happening with these rolls, but I am loving it. Snare. Too far. Got to press on. Hmm. I don't think we need Yeah, we still have eight turns of bless. Just run. Run further. Whoa. Was not expecting that. <laughs> that's that's uh that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I need to be careful with fire in here apparently. Let's see here. No misty step available. Yeah, you saw the spider. Oh. I expected that would actually explode, but it didn't. Under their noses. Hey. You missed a step. Wait, really? It's it's sight distance. I guess. Dang. Yeah, just dash. Nothing will stand in my way. That Bane ability, that's powerful. <laughs> Spider keeps running over to me. I'm like, not, not into it, not into it at all. I should play my Spider Leer, be creepy. Well, that didn't work well. And keep shooting. Jeez. Snare. Got to press on. No. 
No healing. Because we only took the high level healing, I see. Alright. End turn. Bite. Really? Did that say 70, oh, 7 and 1? You do. And then begins the looting simulator once more. Because this is what you're all here for, right? I mean, at this point, I would have to imagine so. This game is... One third chess, one third story, and one third looting simulator. Loot? <laughs> Let's have a look. Got a key? I have so many Zentarum keys now. see here uh wait a sec what if you equip this okay well what were we just wearing whenever the wearer is healed their weapon becomes coated in magic and deals additional very nice. Wait a sec. This is just a fancy... Yeah, uh... We're gonna do the Shattered Flail instead. Madness build. I like the Madness build. <laughs> Plus it gives her access to her shield. Alright. Put this back. Uh, speak with dead. Hand to her. To you. Pass spell. On. Well, that sucks. Right. Corpse can no longer yeah. speak. On my way. How do we get down there now? Oh. Um. Very well then. Let's see. I forgot about these. At the start of the summon creature's turn, it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be driven mad. So I can summon the spider with its jumping ability way out in the middle of the enemy area. Okay, currently using Gloves of Missile Snaring. Who else has a spider follower right now? Gale. Who is using Gloves of Power on melee inflict penalty to their attack and saving throws. Yeah, you get the Abyss Gloves. They seem appropriately terrifying. They don't look like much. Oh, 
I see. No, that was silly. Um, let's see, alchemy pouch. Camp supply. Oh, okay. Wish I had a bag of holding. I destroyed so much stuff with that explosion. It's amazing. Immediately encumbered again. Send account, send account, account, send account, send account. These all go in the fancy box. Okay, we're no longer fighting goblin. Let's get momentum. Send account. Send account. Holy cow, that is a big pile of money. I am. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in a fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. You get to re-roll for two turns which hmm Oh, okay. Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> Send a cap. Sort by type. Open. Just a bag of equipment. Send a cap. I'm going to have to... 
figure out what I'm going to do about this uh, bag full of potions and various consumables and gear because it's it's getting a little heavy. That's the book bag. Dang, that's actually getting heavy too. Send to camp. How are you planning on getting up here? You're dropping down? Gain condition, loss condition, gain condition, loss condition. Okay, that's the entryway to this place. So yeah, we are heading over from here. What just happened? What was what was the role? Lost condition acid. Lost condition acid. I have no idea what that role was for. I can't get that. Oh. Nothing. The fire destroyed everything that was useful there. And my spider is stuck again. Like she do. Have to keep going. Okay, is that everybody? Did I? I legit thought that this mercenary band was going to be a bit more uh, difficult, but I guess that I am becoming a bit of an imposing force now. Okay, let's pause for the moment. This place was about to go up in smoke, which is why we took care of... It's directly below the end that burned. We never did get to actually talk to the magistrate. She died. The place burned. This is We were in the exact same place, parallel dimension. Tea house. The tea house is technically here, which is not correct, but okay. Yeah, both the people just burned in that room before I ever even made it there. It was... It's strange how that rolled out differently. Like, so differently between the two campaigns. Now... I finished the goblin camp, and I was going to start walking overland. This place also has my interest. Let's go to Joaquin's Rest, outside. Love that aura of madness around uh, Gale. That's fun. Okay, so yeah, we can just start walking west if we want to. But I also kind of want to go to the Underdark. Out of curiosity, because it is one of the routes that uh, we're supposed to be able to take. And I don't even know if this one that was supposed to get destroyed is like a temporary thing that I wasn't supposed to be able to go to. Or I had to like choose. So I don't know. We're gonna go west. Oh, we maybe not. There's a wooden bridge there, and there are dragons around. We're we're gonna do the the dungeon underground first, and use the magic of the portal map system later. Wow, subtitles do not know what I'm saying right now, do they?
Hello, everyone. Wonder if this guy's hostile to me now. Oh, hey. Up for discussion? I said you could pass. <laughs> you did indeed say I could pass. And then I killed everyone you know, and you don't even know it. What's in here? Here we go. I just remembered there are chocolate cookies inside. I shall enjoy some label. Ah, that's what that marks. Okay. Can't get there. Wonder what's past this. Okay. Right. Well, let's just handle the rest of these in an appropriate manner, I I What do you mean, leave that be? I very much broke all the NPC interactions in this place. None of these are green, so I'm assuming they're safe. Hmm. It feels like there's something that I'm supposed to be seeing here that I'm not. Something that I'm missing. And I guess that's the point. Like, that's... People whose jobs it is to do level design and game design have taken a lot of time. Is this a full spell too? 
to to get good at what they do. Okay, so that's not it. Shah's blessings upon you. That's nice, dear. We're we're gonna keep walking. I cleared out this room too. All right. Well, that's that. I'm way too big. <laughs> Time to take the elevator. And of course, of course, my spider didn't make it. Let's take short rest. At least things have stayed interesting. Indeed. A three. A nine. A fail. Twenty eight thieves tools. We got an entire lock picking kit. More metal. More alcohol. Nature found. They must thrive in the dark. Huh. Oh. That voice. Do you hear it too? They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Tell me I'm not imagining that Careful. voice. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. <laughs> not yet. A lot of produce. I'm going to in a bet that I shouldn't be taking down this barricade. Rope netting. A minotaur. So that means up there is the uh, place that we were at earlier. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, in the day, in the middle of this cave. Just and hey, you. Hi. Sure. No, we're not doing this right now. Right. <laughs> Hope you're keeping well, friend. You too. I have some pets. Okay, we did it. We did the pets. Nobody has anything they want or need to say. We're just going to sleep. Hey, you must be having a great time with your new gloves. Shuffling noises.
leave camp. Then we have Gale. Yes. Some of the spider. Over there. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, that spider got vaporized. Glass. You, you, you. Halberd. Well, great axe. And turn. Fire. Fire again. And turn. Eldritch Blast. That's an interesting spell. It would have been better with the bow. And turn. Slap. And turn. Another Minotaur. Mildly concerning. Ah. Aranea. Glowing bulb. Glowing bulb is burning. Burning, you say? Not that kind of burning, though. Well, huh. so much for peace. Just keep shooting, I guess. And turn. Mm, gubby gubby. Wait, what's the damage on that? 6 to 13, 2 to 16. Can't see. Two to twenty, eighty percent, seventy-five. Right, fire it is. Missed, of course. One to ten, six to fifteen. Fire bow. Gotta wait until they're a little bit closer. 99%. Very nice. Slap. And turn. Fight. Oh, wow. 24 and 11. Okay, then. Comes easy these days. Okay. Items. Fire. To quote every spellcaster thus far, Ignis.
Keep using fire. Great act. I'm turn. Everybody got ranged. Is this animal abuse? Just brutalizing a minotaur? 13 damage. It's a lot of damage. Gubby Gubby. There's a trap. Anything of use? Hmm. Him man. No idea what most of the stuff is, so that'll be an interesting set of new challenges to figure out. The heck was that? No idea what's going on overhead. Hey, hey, you. No, no way to turn off the webs that turned on. All right, well, I guess we're running through here. Okay, turn that off. Short house. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Chasm Creeper. Seems simple enough. Essence Nightlight. Ancient Selenite Journal. Staff of the Moon Maiden. What happened here? Journal of the High Nishid Yarin. Terrifying, truly. All right, so let's read this. 
I can't sleep without the moon and stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever knew Saloon's name. Is that blasphemy? When I walk the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes, out there, waiting. I know the High Initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Mood made it fair, lend us your light, to guide us home in dark of night, to keep us both on the path of light, ever burning, ever. The last line of prayer succumbs to blurring, as if stained by something wet. It always felt vainglorious to think my deeds worthy of a personal journal, but as I watched the drow mass outside our gate, I realized my arrogance is already of a far costlier sort. I see no harm in tipping the scales a little further. Not for me, but for those who followed me down into the dark. They deserve to be remembered. Initiate Norn Remus, lost in the deep tunnels as we fell back from the drow. Initiate Thulk of the Northern Wastes, grazed by an arrow and succumbed to poison. Initiate Bree Becca, who stood against a drider with only her mason's hammer. And initiates that are the entire company, for they have seen and suffered too much to be called novices. We've collapsed the tunnel behind. We've made ready to open the gate. Perhaps we can carve a path through. And if not, I enclose a list of names, lest the annals know that whatever their end, the cause was the same. One high initiate Yaris wished to stamp his name in the history of his church. He sought to forge a path through the darkness, not realizing there are some places the light was never meant to touch. And he was a fool. God, I love, love the writing they put into this. I just picked up something else. Mask, Staff of the Moon Maiden. The staff's blue inlays and moon-shaped ornamentation indicate its use among saloon clergy. Interesting. So, everybody got stuck outside their own gate somehow, and then died. That's wild. Yo! Polar Luve. Valar Luve. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent. Oh, it's beautiful. Blasphemous ritual that desecrates Lolth by offering your blood to honor the weak. <laughs> Shed a few drops of blood onto the stone because we don't follow laws here. We protect the weak. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone. Hanging in the air in silent offering. Beautiful. Last rites of the Dark Dancer. Very pretty sword. And its name... Pilar Alube. Tell me more about yourself. Rare longsword with finesse and versatile. Melody. The drow inscription on this blade appears to have been recently carved. It translates to, Though I have to leave you, I will dance forever in Elistra's life. Light. So can I... Can I... Can I... Oh, it's that kind of a long sword. Okay. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, so what is this melody? 
The sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst into maddening shrieks or bolstering song. It's a singing sword? The sword shrieks, all enemies within six meters of range have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Afflicted creatures receive an extra 1d4 thunder damage. The sword will stop shrieking if unequipped. Singing. All allies gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. That's so cool. Unfortunately, no, let's let's see, let's see. How how is this? How is this shape up? Five to fourteen. It's such a fun ability. Also, that shockwave is like causing problems. Um. Hmm. We did just give her the jumpy boots, so we just need to get better at the shockwave. Even so, beautiful sword. I guess stays in my spare inventory. Equip. Equip. 5d10, 1d6, or 5 to 14. Five to ten, four to nine. That Steel Forge sword isn't even special in any way. It's just better damage that way around. Where is it? No, I'm not even sure. In the meantime, equip that. Also, Carlac, are you wearing an amulet? Guidance. Oh, that is useful. Salutations. You're wearing the Tarnished Charm. Let's give you the ability to heal others. Or should we give it to you? You're currently using Broodmother's Revenge. And have an other... Whenever the wearer is healed. Okay, so yes, this will win. will mix. To harvesting rocks off the ground. We could theoretically jump up there. You can also use that route to get down the side. So let's all over. Yeah. What's all over here? What are they? Not get too close. What a silly problem. Oh. This place is so pretty. Don't mind if I do. What just happened? What just happened? Predator of the Dark. 
what the heck? Like, I'm fine fighting it. I just wasn't at all aware that this was going to be a thing. All right, well, let's start off by uh, doing that. End turn. Spike growth. No longer acidified. Another day, another Stab. End turn. I think spider's honestly the best one. Okay, and turn. You need to get out of here. Let's see. Thinking. Let's do this. Check her items. Greater healing. <laughs> Start off right. Spirit Guardians. I guess this one. End turn. Oh. I'm gonna just load. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I had no idea. I'm just like, yeah, 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 there's like various things around here I have to be concerned about. And then that happened. Whoa. <laughs> I might actually actually have to stop for the night. Especially if my speech center is breaking down in a manner that's causing me to double my... <laughs> yeah, I think we may get maybe we getting sleepy. I'll hit the multiplayer button. Just that's the only way to actually pause the game. And go over here to our silly music. Oh God, so loud, so loud, silly music. Okay, I'm gonna stop for the night. Because I am a sleepy puppy. <laughs> and I want to say thank you to everybody that hung out tonight. This was super fun. All those that hung out in the chat. All those that were in the background. Sleepy puppy. <laughs> and uh, everybody who ends up watching the VOD. Thank you very much. Every single one of you. Couldn't do this without you. Let's go, over, go ahead and raid over to the Strawberry Moo. Holy cow. I can't speak. Good night, everyone. Love you all. See you soon. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Mwah. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, and I have to wait for this button. One viewer. Two viewers are ready to raid. Three viewers are ready to raid. Ready to raid in two seconds. Raid now.